What's up, y'all? What's up, what's up? I heard we had a guest, so I had to make my way down here as soon as possible. I see the big green hat. What's up, what's up, what's up? There we go. Found him. Not hard to find, y'all. Not hard to find. Hey there. You too. Thank you for coming out here. Hell yeah. Uh, I wasn't going to just let you stand here with these closed up windows by yourself. I know. It, the, it was crazy because it was all over. That's like, what they do every time we're here. Like the first five minutes or like, as soon, so could, um, as yeah. soon as. Sometimes you can't even go live. Yeah. I, I, I like I before. I not uh, prepared mentally or anything. I, I just walked up and I was like, whoa, it's open. Like, right. You can see everything. Yeah. Uh, and then, they, oh, there's Tanya. There's our girl, Tanya. Oh, you know them by name? Oh, yeah. Right? Nice, nice. Oh, so the, the, she's kind of like a younger Hispanic. She's got, yeah, the blonde, the, or the long, dark brown curly yes. hair. Yes. So she's married to Corbin, okay. and Corbin and his brother, Barton, used their student loan money to help pay for this building and gave it all to a guy named John Davitt. Stacy's mother, or Trace, Stacy is her mother-in-law, Stacy Springer. She's a big whale here. Wow. Okay. And her, she was married to a guy named Tracy. Tracy slept with Stacy's 14 year old sister. Then they decided to put like, send her away to go get executive training until the statute of limitations ran up. And then once that was done, he came, the Sheila, the 14 year old at the time came back here when she was 17. And now she's married to Tracy and Stacy's married to somebody new. So that's what that family, that girl uh, came all. into. And then she, they own a school. They o operate their own little uh, home school out of their property, shared with the dad millions of, uh, just on just like the credit card miles that he would steal from people that he opened their, opened up in their name. That is, that is just, it, it's, it's crazy to hear to like normal people, but like these, these people probably just operate constantly lying to each other to where the point to the point where they probably believe it to be a truth. You 100%. I mean? And whether it's evil, they, they say it's good, and then all of a sudden the evil becomes good. Absolutely. Uh, because the, the, the person that you stand strong next to is saying that it's good, so you, of course, have to say it's good. Uh, that, that is crazy how yeah. good that went. Yeah, and uh, they don't really like, because normally I play Aaron's live about it, so that so Tanya, that they just her and her husband just went behind that wall. Okay. That's her husband, Corbin. Okay. It's like a whole... Uh, and most of the college kids know. Right. And they know me. <laughs> um, and so they'll just go, either go by and just scream like, Scientology, or they'll like get a selfie of themselves. Okay, oh, like with them. And flipping it off. Yeah. yeah, man, it's a goal. Uh, yeah, and it's crazy because like the, the young man at the reception does, he seems young. Like he is young. He is young. Age or younger. And he like really, he's just on the phone with Osa all the time. Yeah. Or calling the police or whomever. I, I was trying to read his lips and it was almost like, what do you want me to do about it? That's what I was kind of reading. It's like, you don't have to do anything about it, man. Just leave and come out here with right. me and start doing your, your own research. Like, you understand for yourself. He at least laughs at us sometimes oh, if we okay. yell at him and stuff. <laughs> I love that the door's still broken. See, that's what I was curious about because I was like, why didn't they just lock it on me? Because I was still kind of able to get the clear cog through the crack right? Uh, and whatnot. Uh, but it seems like it's broken, huh? They broke it the first day that they were open oh, because they didn't realize that it was an HVAC thing that was blowing it open. Like their HVAC was bad, plus they were moving people in and out of the back doors. Oh, so it was just popping it open. So this some idiot gets up there and it's hydraulic because he has a push button so that they can open and close. So that guy was up there with a mallet and a screwdriver <laughs> pounding on the hydraulic thing. So they broke it the first day. Right. This is why you can't have nice things. Brand new building. 
Yep. Yep. That's crazy. Yeah, this is their pride and joy here. It is huge too. Like the live stream does not do it justice, guys. Like if y'all are in Austin, definitely drive by at some point. Yell at the cult. Get the perspective for yourself as as far as what their tax exemption is is running right now. Because, man, I'd imagine this property would be expensive to have like actually on the books. Oh yeah. Um, hello, everyone in the chat. Hello, hello, hello. My ear finally popped. The whole way. Was down. it because I was yelling? No, no. <laughs> I. I think it was just me moving my jaw or something or some, I don't know what it was, but, uh, getting down to sea level. Yes. It's, they had been hurting so bad. Um, it seems so, you can kind of almost tell when there's activity in the back as well, because that's that draft yeah. is pulling. Yes. So I, I almost want to just go take a peek. Do it. Go. Or they're on the loading dock out back smoking. Also, it is legal to go through the trash. What's up, y'all? What's up? Got down here as quickly as I could. What's up? Let's do Judy, Lorraine, fuzzy pink handcuffs. Um, it has been kind of rainy here. It's a little chilly. I do have my raincoat in the uh, in the car. What's up, everybody? How is your Sunday doing? Welcome in from Las Vegas, Luis and Noel's gig. What's up, Nancy, Jamie? So yeah, Jay got the, he got the, the blinds treatment. He got the treatment. Not a whole lot going on here. And of course it's like during the day, so you can't really see as much. But now they've got to be mad that there's two of us here. They got to be mad. I can't believe they closed up everything. Mm -mm -mm. Poor little F. Scianto. Poor little F. Scianto. Not a whole lot going on. Everybody's just getting back from spring break, so there's probably some more people around, but nothing else. He's trying to get instructions now from his his leader. It is not warm out here. Sounds like some F sign toes are driving. That guy yelled. He yelled exactly something I would yell too. A whole lot of nothing. We'll probably let some people escape out the front or something. In fact, though, if he's looking at stuff, I'm going to stay over here so that they stay focused on me. So what's up? What's the news? Everyone's so quiet in chat today. What's the tea? I haven't seen anything the past couple days. I saw some new people on the board of certain places. Look at all the swarms of people going into the cult. Just kidding, no one's going into the cult. Oh, I hear they've got their music started. 
They got their music started, y'all. So now I have to take offensive measures. It's really faint right now, but they started it. Okay. For sure. You're good. We appreciate you. It's not because I looked it up. They didn't even recycle those? Trash. Oh, okay. Okay. I was going to say. Probably just because they can't afford the fine. But do you hear that stupid song now? Yeah. It's it's theirs. They But they've never done anything to with that on mine. But if I do decide to stay out here, I'll just... I have white noise. I've got other stuff. I just don't know. Um, I, I came out because you were here, and then I was like, we'll see what's going on, but, and then the second we leave, they'll open all this back up again. So Friday is their big night here, because that's when they have graduation, and that's when you're going to get the most amount of people. The people that are in course right now in these rooms up there are learning the Div 6 training, which is the body routing. So, like, coming out and being um, trained to, like, bring kids in. Um, and so that's what, they're, that's what they're doing right now up in these classrooms. But that, um, that's about it. And so there's maybe 20 staff members total. There's supposed to be 75 for each org. Yep. Yeah, and he's going to go in the side door. Because he can't. There you go. That's right. See how they love to confront and shatter suppression? <laughs> Looks like they've got the doors wedged shut pretty good right now. Just till some till this guy goes in the back door. Look at him run away from Jay. So proud, so brave, y'all. <laughs> Definitely a lot more kids than they were here before. Well, last week, you know. But I like how the police officer told me to get a raincoat. That was very thoughtful of him. Yeah. He oh, yeah. They love that. I agree. And you could see some of them, like it, it gets to some of them.
It should be all good now, y'all. Oh, yeah. Good to see you, too, Keith. Yeah, they're, they're, normally they have a much louder for... If it's just me, it's, like, right at about, like, 81 decibels is what they keep it at, just to, like, try to... Um, no, it was my VPN. It needs to get restarted every once in a while. And so my VPN, it just crashes. So that's why my... Signal went away for a second. This is campus. So that's the big tower building. That's like where the main, if you heard the bells earlier, and then um, this like big wide walkway that goes up to it, that's the student union. So they're real close to everything. This is the architecture library, which is my favorite building, but it's better from the other side. Um, but yeah, the students are always around this whole area. And it would be, this This is the end of, this is the last day of spring break, so that's the only reason that there's not more. It's a cult. I didn't even realize it was St. Patrick's Day, which means that I need to call my best friend because it's her birthday. I love it. Right. I could have come in my whole green screen suit. Which one, the guy, reception guy? Yeah, he reacts. He, he'll react. Is he 2D flowing you? I'm on YouTube right now. Yeah. Wow, I love it. I love it, motherhood. What's up, Jeanette? I know, Zenu Free, he's probably watching both. He's like, this is the best excitement that he's ever had. Thanks, y'all. Have a good one. Um, you didn't really miss much. I got here because I saw that Jay was here, so I was like, well, I'm going to come down, but they shut everything down in like 10 seconds per use. Yeah, they have a whole drill for it now. Tanya. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they don't want to be on film anymore, especially since they realize that they can't keep accusing me of harassing them. Um, but she likes to take... She likes to take my picture, and my video. Mm-hmm. They, well, there's everybody here loves me except for uh, Kathy Norman's husband who wants to wear me as a skin suit. That guy likes to come out and attack me. 
he gets in my face. He's like bumped into me and touched my stuff before the police officer had to pull him off one time. And then like the guy that you were talking to, not that reception guy, but the other one yeah. that he, he was the one that had to like bring like body route him back inside. Yeah, it is pretty dead in here right now. Right. Could have been, I didn't, I wasn't watching because I was driving. I was listening, but I know that guy. And then, you know, the regulars are here. Like Stacy and her husband, Jim, are probably here or they'll be here later, but they won't walk in front of the door if I'm here now because I keep telling the truth about her whole stupid family relationship. You bet. Of course. Hell yeah. You taking off? You're good. I got you. Are you going to come back through? Okay. You're all good. Thank you so much for hanging out. Oh, yeah. Yeah, sounds good. I'll be here. I'm going to hang out here for a minute since I'm here. See ya. Be safe. Wow, Max is mom. That's crazy. But these people are pretty upset about everything. Um, they are playing the music. They're just not blasting it yet. But if I go to my car and get my megaphone, they will. Because I just like hopped in the car, but I do have my megaphone and stuff. If I need to. We'll see what they do now that that he's gone. But that police officer just like walked by and was just like, you might need a jacket. I was like, okay, bro. Thanks. Appreciate your concern for my health and well-being. Clown Town, I couldn't agree with you more. They're so mad. But, you know, Stacy has given so much money to this and then she helped her kids um, donate their student loan money to this cult. And then when she was told that that was against the law, she paid off the student loans so that they couldn't get in trouble. But this is, you know, that was all through the Davits. So, yeah, there's like, nobody's doing anything out here today. They're just sad because they had all their doors open. The pets claiming to have escaped yesterday from blue. Whoa, I don't know. Oh, Clown Town, it is insane. So Stacy Sass was married to Tracy, a guy named Tracy. Tracy had an affair with Stacy's 14-year-old at the time sister. In order to cover it up, they sent the sister away to, be, to get training, i.e. trafficking. They trafficked her to a different state. And then... They, um, when she was old enough and the statute of limitations was up, they brought Sheila, the 14 year old at the time back. He then married Tracy. Okay. And has kids with him. And so now Stacy's married to Jim and Tanya, who's inside with the dark curly hair, married Corbin Springer, who is Stacy's uh, son with one of her sons with Tracy. Corbin is the other one. Um, and so it's, it's like a big, ridiculous soap opera cult style in here. Appreciate everyone coming over from Jay's. Yeah, that whole La Poubelle 
stuff. I just, I have questions about that lady to begin with. I have questions about that lady. Um, at La Poubelle, because why, why is her name Francois when that's a man's name? And why is, uh, traditionally anyway, I mean, my name's Leslie, which started off as a man's name and then became more of a woman's name. There's different spellings, right? But Francois is a man name. And then she like names her own stupid thing in the dumpster. Like what an idiot. And I know that's from something else too. I just, all of it together just makes it seem really sus. What's up, everybody? Welcome in, welcome in. I know, right? It is. This makes telenovelas look like child's play. But also, I love me some telenovelas, too. Yeah, this, this place is just a whole hot mess express. All the time. Yes, welcome in from Jay's chat. That Mexican long hair. That's one of the homeless dudes that we um, bribe with cigs and lighters so that he tells us stuff. Atta oh, God, of course she's attached to that mess. Uh, Jay's uh, Denver Scientology audit. What's up, Sally Boyer? Yeah, this is like, oh, we're to this is totally normal. They have all the windows closed and are totally not a cult, except for it's totally a cult all the time. Greetings from Wisconsin. Oh, they're so mad. They're so mad that I'm here today. What's up, St. Louis Scientology Audit? I cannot imagine. I need to... I need to check out your stuff to see what's going on in St. Louis. Because that's an interesting place. How long has that one been around? God, this song is just tragic. Somebody's smoking a pipe, though. It smells good. I think it's just Denver Scientology audit. Oh, there you go. Kimberly just dropped it. Thank you. Yes, happy St. Patrick's Day. I wish I had some St. Patrick's Day like beverages. I'll have to fix that on the way home. I could just start insulting them using like Irish and UK insults. Call them a bunch of gobshites. Which is true, they are a bunch of gobshites. Gobshites. That's insane that he was hit by a Scientology driving, but also in no way surprising. Oh, I love Irish coffee. I don't think I know any Irish pub songs except for like funeral ones. Guinness is good for you. I remember that when I was in Ireland and I saw that um, billboard, I was like, you know, what? I love it here. I loved it in Ireland anyway. But then when they were like, Guinness is good for you, I was like, indeed, Guinness is good for me. Hip, hip, go away! Yes, Bono and you two are from Ireland.
I know there's liquor stores are closed though on Sundays. So I'm going to have to just stick with beer because I don't have anything. I mean, I have I have whiskey. I don't have any Irish whiskey because I don't prefer Irish whiskey, but I do have lots of whiskey in my house. I, I prefer bourbon. Um, I hope that y'all are going to be live streaming that cruise. Because I feel like the the drama and tea from that is going to be like lev like this level stuff. So I want all the tea. Somebody's going to need to be streaming that. What is my favorite bourbon? Uh, so I do like, um, I do like Angel's Envy, but I like Larceny. Probably one of the best. I need my jacket. I like Larceny and I like, uh, let's see. Um, still Austin is really good. They're pretty new, but it's good. Um, there's a couple of other Austin ones that are small bat. Um, I do like Buffalo Trace though too, just because Buffalo Trace is the same, um, it's the same distillery as, uh, Patty Van Winkle. So you're going to get pretty much the same stuff, but let's see. And plus they're going to think that I left. So that'll be fun. Pardon me? Oh, it was on me. Now, now I need a pulse. Now I need one, though. Hell yeah. Appreciate you. We love that. See? Like, where's my car? I forgot where I parked it today. But I do need a jacket, and I kind of want the megaphone a little bit. Maybe. Of course, we could always just go to a pub and I could get one. Take y'all with me to the pub. But then I'd be drinking by myself and then that would start rumors. But dude, where's my car? It's Sunday. Let me get rid of my gum since I know that bothers lots of you. It bothers me too when I see other people doing that. But I would like a jacket and a tripod. Oh no, they're going to know where I parked in my car like they don't already. Sorry, y'all. Yay. Oops, it's gonna fall over though. I guess I could bring. That's true. I wouldn't be drinking alone if y'all were with me. Just in case my bestie comes out so I can, you know, turn the siren on for him. I know, oh, trust and believe. I, I don't really have a huge issue with uh, drinking alone either. It's just like, I don't normally like to advertise it. I mean, I live alone. Otherwise, I'd never be drinking. And we can't have that. 
see if my phone is still paired. Bear with me. We're back. Okay. Just had to tether. Oh, it's never open. When, once somebody comes here, they keep it closed. They keep it closed. Thank you so much, Diana. I appreciate you. So now let's play some music that are some things that they're not going to like. Because that's kind of one of my favorite things to do to them. Once I get... Back there. Do you complete this game? It says I'm here. You know, may as well. Make sure I lost my car, you know. I don't want any FSI until sneaking in. Trying to like sneak a flag song or something in there. No one wants that. No one wants that. Oh, your F Scianto tea is coming? I know I need to order another one. I want to get the other one with the names on it too. And I'm going to try to make a couple of other designs, but I'm just learning Photoshop myself. So I'm not trying to like put out like dumpy stuff. Oh, somebody just went in thinking I was gone. I just do that game all day. Just set up all my stuff and then leave. Wait for them to open everything up and then set up all my stuff and leave. But since they're watching, it kind of takes away from that, you know, because they know. They know. They're not that stupid. They're stupid, but they're not that stupid. Yeah, they have their stupid music playing. Like, do they think anyone wants to come in? What's up, what's up? Do they think anyone wants to come in with this stupid music playing? Because no one does. So tragic. Oh, there's there's the people in the doorway there.
Ron is here, everyone. Welcome back to more at PTV, where every day is one step closer to the total collapse of Scientology. Buckle up, guys. This one's going to get a little spicy. Muy caliente. Uh, the uh, inspiration for tonight's video is this article, uh, and a letter to the editor, submitted by Scientologist and Austin Scientology staff member, Corbin Springer. This was submitted to the Daily You know Texas. they hate this shit. Uh, you know they hate it, and it's kind of my favorite. University of Texas at Austin Community since 1990. So Corbin Springer, he and his brother are both alumni of UT, which is unusual for uh, Scientologists. It's unusual for children of Scientologists to go to college. And uh, real quick, I'll show you. This is Corbin. He's the one on the left. And this is Corbin's brother, Barton. And that Fucking brings name us back Barton, to I this can't. article. Where Corbin Springer wrote a letter as an alumni of UT, uh, basically condemning the protesters who protested the, the, the re-grand opening of the building for the Austin North as hateful bigots. And uh, just letting the student body of UT know that Scientology and UT uh, share the same principles. Sorry, guys, one second. Now, I will at some point in this video share with you part of his letter here. You know what? It's probably appropriate to start hey, what's that? with what's some that? of what he said. All right. Because, but what we're actually going to discuss in this video. And I just realized I neglected to do something. And the back office on YouTube, just like I did last time. Okay, good. Just fix that. What we're really here to discuss in this video is the bank fraud, credit card fraud, and loan fraud, and other crimes that Corbin Springer's family has been involved in with respect to the Church of Scientology of Austin itself. And the fundraising, kids think about going in. the money that was raised to fund the very building that was being protested. Because multiple inside sources in Austin, Texas have shared with me that approximately 80% of the nearly $25 million that was raised to renovate this building was raised illegally through credit card fraud, bank fraud, and loan fraud, specifically using credit unions, small banks, and the armed services credit unions. And Corbin Springer and another uh, Scientologist, Jonathan David, are two. Uh, Jonathan David is the key player, one of the key players in the fraud. Corbin Springer was just one of the suckers. But as is usual in Scientology, when you're talking about crimes committed in the churches of Scientology, with the Scientology organization, oh, the fraud. it's never used one type of crime. So when we're talking about the Springer family, we're not only talking about loan fraud, bank fraud, we're also talking about statutory rape. And I'm going to I'm going to share the whole story with you. But again, the whole story is inspired by What's that so bad? Corbin Springer's letter to the editor. So let's just take yes, a look at some of megaphone. what Corbin had to say here. I am a University of Texas graduate, he says. I'm also a Scientologist. Before enrolling in UT, during my time there and since graduating, I've been a member of my church and a member of the West Campus community. I've grown up here. Oh, yeah, no, this is my favorite my thing home. to play. As you've probably heard, my church just had its grand opening of our newly renovated building. This is literally my favorite thing to play. Decades on the drag. For Scientologists all over, this was a massive celebration. What you may have also heard about is a handful of hateful protesters around our church. This is simply religious intolerance. While minoring in religious studies, I have uh, I got to have discussions about the realities of religious discrimination with Muslim, Jewish, Christian, and atheist students, to name a few. Uh, this is nothing new. Um, I'm sorry, I, I skipped a sentence. There's a part of the sentence I didn't want to read out loud, so I don't know how you should treat it, but uh, let's just do it. Um, unfortunately, in my lifetime, I have seen increased religious hate, especially against the Jewish. This is nothing new. This is so ridiculous. I know that students at the university in the main do not support this type of intolerance. When I was a student in 2016, I stood in front of the UT Tower with hundreds oh, of... Oh, they're all right inside the door the right now, like, watching this. Of intolerance. 
I am writing today to tell you that Scientology stands for what I firmly believe the students of the University of Texas and all Austinites stand for. Tolerance. All the tolerance. My conversation with members of my church, students, professors, and members of other religious organizations. I know that a handful of haters is not reflective of how most of us feel. I believe all of us want to live in a world where people are free to practice their religion or not. My church, much like the University Definitely of Texas, not a religion. He says in OT8 that it's not a religion and that he believes that he's the Antichrist. If you want to know what Scientology is all about, you're always free to come inside and see. If you do not want to, that's totally fine. I know that I speak for Thank you so much, Anne. Tony's in the back crying and drinking hot dog water, probably. Oh, the police officer's back in there, though. Oh, hell yeah, silly squirrel. On the right is Corbin Springer's mom. Appreciate y'all being here. Now, and all my mods and everybody that showed up that. last second, because I was like, what? Well, oh, no, you're good. I didn't tell anybody that I was going live. It was like, a, I just snuck. Yeah, they, my Tony, they hate when I play this. They hate it. Now, Jim is not Corbin. But it, it's, it's a lot more impactful when it comes from Aaron than from me, you know what I mean? Stacy was married to Tracy. Tracy is a man. That is what Tracy used to look like. Stacy and Tracy were married for a long time, and they had a number of kids. Everything was going along fine until Tracy cheated on Stacy with Stacy's younger sister, Sheila. Oopsie. As if that wasn't bad enough, the problem is that Tracy was in his late 20s, early 30s. Sheila was a minor. By the way, this is the current photo of Sheila. This is not a photo of Sheila. That's minor. Sheila was 14 years old. My insight is that Tommy is possibly 15, but they believe that she was 14 years old. Now, what did Scientology do when they found out that one of their uh, leading, upstanding members of the community had cheated on his wife with an underage child. His wife's a show. Did they involve the authority? That's my YouTube and name. No. Uh, I don't know. That's just the name on it. It's just a brand name. No, just the brand name. So all they did was send her to Clearwater, Florida for training. Yeah. Instead of involving the authorities in a crime that occurred against the Scientology child, they transported that unaccompanied minor. Um, I don't remember how much this one was. This it, it you want the kind that has like the ability to plug in like a USB cord or a cord from your phone. Oh, yeah, I know the rules. Okay. They might have now. So done where this. does that bring us in this story? Yes, let's go back to Corbin. Nothing, you just asked me the name okay. of the megaphone that now, I was using. During this time, Corbin and his brother, Barton, but Barton's not really a part of the story to the best of my knowledge. Corbin was, as he Thank said you so much, in Jane. an article, going Appreciate to the you. University of Texas. Now let's enter into the story. Yeah, so a gentleman that I knew from my time in the Sea Org named Jonathan Davitt. Jonathan Davitt was a Sea Org member working on L. Run Hubbard Way, where I worked when I was in the Sea Org. We weren't close, but we knew each other. And um, Jonathan Davitt, this is his LinkedIn profile. This is the one that I have. It has all the plugins and stuff, uh, and you can also it's got a rechargeable battery, said, or you can use C. Uh, after leaving the Sea Org and relocating. Austin. He was a senior fundraiser, lead fundraiser, senior fundraiser for a nonprofit church organization located in Austin. I was responsible for raising seven point two million dollars from parishioners. I know. I could just do this all day. But I'm gonna start. There, I have some other ones that I want to play too. Yeah, the door is so ridiculous. Now, I do 
not recall. Yeah, this megaphone tech is legit. Thanks to EA for suggesting one that would um, take care of that. Thank you so much, Diet Coke 73. I appreciate you. Yeah, they are. It is a good one. Plus, it has like the silent, like the siren one, as you saw me use on Kathy Norman's stupid husband. I'll be so sad, honestly, if they ever. About how the protesters this, oh yeah, the you can also like um, <clears throat> you can record yourself. All the same values as the U. So if you alumni. if you have like a USB, well, since or, Corbin is writing his or the, to the editor, in a like it'll like take um it takes a micro SD card too, so you can record might yourself might and play it again. But that's the name of the that's the brand name. to Jonathan Davis gave the money to the Church of Scientology of Austin for their building. <laughs> they couldn't have picked a worse person to write a letter to the editor because now I'm doing this video. Okay. So, something happened. Something came up. These financial irregularities, all this illegal activity. It's like this pendulum swing that occurs in Scientology where the executives will turn a blind eye, they know it's happening, I appreciate but they're that. it's not happening. And then once appreciate something that, happens, it's too obvious and they can't pretend that they don't know, then they like come down with a hammer and, and nuke everyone. And anyway, it, it's I love it. And there's so many different ways to do it. You could try to talk to so them. Corbin, you could just play the truth happens, in their face. Like, the legal you know what I mean? Stacy and Jim, the main staff, no longer Stacy. Ringer, I think they're maybe. And I don't Patterson. Claire Bear. I think Sheila, I think Sorry about Sheila the withdrawals. Maiden names are Patterson, but we're talking about Corbin's mom. Corbin's mom yeah, no, this megaphone is the best. Because like I said, you could just like, I could just record Corbin myself saying stuff into trouble. it and then just play it back. They stepped in and paid off all Did you get your squirrel hat? To minimize any legal liability. Well, no, it doesn't one, matter. That's Size that's does not matter. Good. But one of the things about doing that is it doesn't erase the crime that was committed. And the police officer left. He sat there. He called his friends. I don't even know what he was. He's got a he's got a gun, but it says EMT on there too. So I don't know. Thank you. I appreciate that. Rocket check. Yep, Amazon. Motherhood to menopause. Yes, Amazon. Oh yeah, because they wanted to keep these windows open the whole time. No, it's really not that bad. I know it was it was supposed to rain, so I didn't come out on Friday and then not a drop of rain came, but it was like thunderstorms are coming Friday. Raising money for these giant new buildings that are ten times bigger than anything any Scientology organization. A squirrel gun filled with squirrel pee. Ten, twenty, thirty times more than Scientologists can afford. There aren't enough Scientologists in the world to pay for this. There aren't enough Scientologists in the world to staff. And, and if they keep turning up their music, I'm gonna just turn up this. On the fundraisers uh, and the staff members. By the way, Jonathan David was working hand in hand as being run by two New York members named Mariella and Marlissa. It's either Marlissa. I, I should have gotten it. It was in my. Uh, it's in my car, but. New York members for ideal or fundraisers for the entire United States. Jonathan David, as a former Sea York member. Yeah, I mean, I really. I could yell at them every time I see it, but it's, it just makes me look like an idiot and proves their point. Uh, and so it's better to just like show them that I'm a normal person because they think I'm a criminal out here doing this, and I'm not. Not that I really care what they think about me because their opinion of me is not my business. No, Sal, he's not using his car tech. They have actual speakers here right now. Uh, I, I did have other people out here with me, but I've got a police officer, babysitter, and my body cam. They own Jonathan Depp. So now I'm not saying Jonathan Depp's not responsible for what he did, but I'm saying these guys rode Jonathan Depp 
hard and put them away wet. That's always a funny expression. Um, <laughs> okay, so Mariella and Marlene. You want me to just yell at the other fundraisers in the Austin area? Minute. F. Si F. Sciento. Wait, 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 wait. F. Sciento. I don't know. And Corbin Springer. And Stacey Springer. Uh, and Stacey Oh, uh, that's because I didn't turn it on. There's too many different up, things. Like, we're all wrapped up into that. So I'll pull into it. But let's be honest. Every Scientologist in Austin has participated. Damn near. Yeah, their, their music's getting louder, so I'm awesome. going to get louder. And every city in the world where Scientology And Ren J was funded. here, too. Denver Scientology Audits Martin was here, too. But he left. He's got to go see his family. And then eventually, him and Savage eventually, a building will be finished and he'll come and pull the ribbon and they'll act like Scientology in the Everyone is sick of the sexual fraud. Now, one of the reasons uh, it's okay to do videos about this is someone like, oh my god, don't, don't, uh, don't, don't. Uh, aren't you giving it away? They're going to go burn all the documents. They're going to shred all the documents. These financial crimes, the stuff the government specializes in. You can go burn and shred all the documents that you want. It doesn't matter. Thank you so much, Ann. Thank you for the super sticker. I appreciate your support. Necessary. And all the records and all the documents. This is what is going to take Scientology down. So, to all these students at UT Austin, that's the right, that's the right word for it. So, there's different UT campuses. I don't understand the college world very well, guys, because I didn't go to college. I grew up in college. So UT or UT Austin or UT West Campus, whatever it's called. Um, when you read this letter to the editor from Corbin Springer, just know you're getting a letter from someone who, who took his student loans and gave it to Scientology to pay for that bill. Totally normal. <laughs> and this is the guy who talks about protesters. Yeah, exactly. Uh, just like let the... Let them use their own words to do it, you know? Because now we're talking about shit. Uh, all right, that really is all I have to say about this. I think I have one more video I want to do tonight, but I'm starting to feel pretty crappy. I thought I was getting better, and then the last couple hours, I started to feel I'm okay. I'm sounding better, right? I don't sound as sick as I sounded the last few days, um, but it's getting a little rough, so we'll see if I have enough in. Um, anyway, thank you guys for hanging out with me. Uh, yet another time today. Thank you. Hello, hey everybody. Welcome to chat. Thank you, members too, who are here as well. Always great to see you there in the chat. Welcome, so everybody. I'm bit. Natalie, and this is Scientology: Life After Our Cult. Well, you will catch me recapping Scientology news in the morning, but I also get to do interviews with people. Scientology community. Sometimes it's an ex-Scientologist. Somebody, sometimes it's somebody protesting. You just never know. You never know. Which is why you want to hit that subscribe button and then hit the notification bell. Pop in here and there with that, uh, let's call it bonus content. <laughs> Outside of my recaps. But truthfully, it is one of my favorite things to do is to find out more about the different people that I meet and that you guys are getting to know through YouTube, right? Many of them we might see about protesting and live streaming and have so many questions about them, what inspired them to do it, where they came from, all of that. And I enjoy finding that out, and I hope that you guys do too, because I'm going to keep doing these, plus I love it. Thank you so much to my mods that are helping out today. I know Nancy's there and my Tony as well. If you have questions as we go along, put question in all caps, have your question follow and we'll try and get to as many of those as we can because I have so many questions, you guys, and I think you're going to have many questions too, on me. this topic because today we're going to be talking to somebody me. who did the training, who did the deeds, and has the deed. He's going to be talking about what happened during some Scientology training that he did to make him a very Thanks, specialized Anna. Scientology interrogator, yeah, Anna. and we're going to get into a little bit of that, and... You've heard us often talking in the X community about certain techniques that Scientology uses to manipulate people. And uh, we're going to get a little bit into the weeds on that because I have questions about it. Thanks, Well, it's really cool to be able to talk to somebody else. Maybe this guy that's sitting here babysitting me can learn something, too. To do it so that we can break it apart. And you can really take a look 
at how insidious Scientology is and how it can be used to harm people. Not that you didn't already know or think that, right? No, I didn't. I, more of that it was a last was minute. I didn't know Jay was going to be what here. What Scientology is and why it's so important. I appreciate to that, motherhood. To people. So, without further ado, I do believe. But yeah, I didn't know I was going to be out here, so I want to bring up to the main stage. Everybody, welcome, Louis Repetto. Okay, they're going to love this one. Hey, hey, thank you, Natalie. Thank you. You're so wonderful. I watch you all the time. Big fan. They're going to love this one. Yeah, I tell everybody that comes on to start with that statement. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we need to get early first. <laughs> we try to get a way to do on it. <laughs> oh, my God. I forgot about those. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. It is so great to finally meet you. I've been following your channel. I love when you did those mock eater yeah, things. Yeah, I think so too. Thank you. We got to see you again when um, especially because he uses a lot of the lingo, and they're not going to be able to ignore. We were there as well, and we're able to protest with the crew. Exciting! That was so fun. Aaron is so. This amazing. is former. This is survivors again, of this cult me, telling their stories. It's a like YouTube. Twenty years. Yeah, yeah. You know, like 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 you're cheering them. Like and, uh, just, yeah, no, that was her uh, intro. That was her intro. Yeah, no, these are survivors and telling their stories, and I feel like it's more effective than me yelling. Can we just help answer questions? Exactly. It was exactly. Wonderful being there protesting, and then he was so brave to bring that package. Eighty-five. Security. Yes. I would have never done that. I was kind of freaked out. You know, me neither. I'm not for sure. It was eighty-five. Yeah. And that's only, and that's, and that's, you love to wait a security guard. Yes, it is. It. It's 85. I've been through it. Yeah, there's, 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 there's probably, and I was there's probably, I, if it was in the garage, then I was yeah, probably nice. Here, oh, yeah. Like yeah, no, it's 85. It's 85, no, unless it's just bad. me yelling, and then there's no limit. But it's too much. So I just play the survivors of this, you know? But the truth yeah, is, what is that? That's what they were trying to avoid. That's oh, right. <laughs> yeah, so I know. yeah, it was peppered with a little bit of. Right, it could be. It could be. It could be little things. Just accept nothing, and then we just really accept nothing, not rejection, and then accept nothing. And sometimes that feels. I'll get a little bit right? of <laughs> It's true. Unless it's Tony, I shrunk the kids. My, I, in fact, I almost went into the position of accepting. No, nothing. you're good. <laughs> no, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute. They find normal things, business things sometimes get sent that way. Oh, yeah, they're all getting yeah. sag text. <laughs> That's fascinating. Listen, when you do get mail in the church, though, I know that they go through it and scan it all first, and the computer goes through and recognizes what's good and bad. They have like a, a I've been out of the sea work for 30 years, so this is new to me. You're saying they me have too. some type of AI. No, they just use a scanner. And the scanner... No, he left already, Ren. The mail? All all the the mail. They open up all the mails. Yeah. I remember Gabrielle and did one. He had this huge machine on, I was on a desk, and it would just go through there. He would occasionally see some end data. So yeah, he, he knew occasionally he'd throw that into a bin. But most of the time, if there was something bad on it, the computer would recognize it. That's what he told me. Wow. I, know. I, got, a whole, I got a whole playlist with these That's folks. interesting. <laughs> wow. I mean, I don't know how it works exactly, but um, I don't know. Go ahead and get that. Now. No, that's totally that's totally crazy i'm just that was so like that was after my time i was a public person i was a member still in scientology but would not have known about anything like that and the everyday scientologist does not know that yeah so look i just want to tell you like i was the how i know this is i used to audit the staff members and there i used to do these PTS interviews and one of the questions is have you run across any negative information regarding Scientology, and Gabrielle's answer was his mail. Happy St. Patrick's Day to you. And the, when he goes through all the mail, he said he, normally the scanners catch it, that's what he said. Normally the scanners catch it, but I saw it, and uh, as long as it's not, and when I wrote it down on the work, and then I typed Kathy it, Norman's computer, stupid husband. Security within one hour, and said, there's something on your computer that you need to erase right now. And I had to go to my computer, like somehow they had detected on the in internet of the computer systems there that it was written in a report. 
Oh. Yep, that was Tanya. So I had to go there. That was Tanya. So just walked behind that wall. I got a sign lower condition. She can be I out here now, but we're not talking about her. I told you this. This is what happened to him. He got a sign lower condition. I got a sign lower condition because I wrote Oh, yeah, the, the door tech is still a whole hot mess. In the report, typed in the computer, the word Oh, you did? I wrote the report on Gabrielle's interview from yeah. having interviewed him about Yes, they are playing their awful message. Tell yeah. me about this mail thing. I wrote it in the computer. It came to me. Income security, not just any security. The, the top security guys that watch income nonstop. And those guys are real scary, you know. They never talk to you, and they're just always. Thank you so much, Louise. Doing, uh, hip hip hooray for the gobshites, indeed. Wow. That is crazy. I've actually, I can't wait. Really, I don't recall hearing that. That they, you don't that, I, mean, I know they went through the mail, but that's What's a really good point because you can't have the average sealant member going through the mail who doesn't know about the I upper know, level. I know, I love the door. Yeah. I love the there door. There are tech. hardly any sealant members starting to rain on the upper level. Scientology. Exactly. Exactly. They're, they're all, all the ones that are way up high are, are either in our team for control mm -hmm. or they're really old and they're being abused you know elderly abused like for example uh, number of names I don't know if I Davy does names. not care I, about I any of these orbs oh, no, you hey hey there happy say Patrick sir um, Davy does not care about any of these orbs he had to drive to <laughs> I won't swear. Okay, he I drove to uh, San Antonio <laughs> multiple strokes and she had so many situations where her medical bills were not being she was not being taken care of medically and yet she's still working. Wow. Now. No, like, I got a new one. What, I got a new one. When I was there He's nice though. Ago, he talks ago. to me like I'm a human, so we yeah, like I him. Know. She was already in her seventies. Yeah, that is the thing. They, they only are because on the door's to open. If I were to stand directly in front of it, you would see it's not. The see? They're not, they're not, actually. When you were, no, you were in this organization, and you guys, Lewis did went through um, a class six, so like a level six auditor training and case supervisor training. That is a very, very trained Scientologist, let alone organization member so you'd be able to do things in the sea organization on the bridge to total freedom they're really nice <laughs> here there was only one person there. here that i interacted like with halfway, you, so. if you can see behind me the bridge is the top there the very top and it's about yeah. halfway but the we'll tell them to find the basement in the island the they're all having to do with the operating what's up 357 and such things so um, you have to have special <laughs> special yes. special 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 do this training and part of your job was to audit or um, to do the security check interrogating the organization members and I want to get a little bit into that because you often hear we hear about it on the receiving end Somebody who had been interrogated got the I know the door is my favorite. If they and if they I fix them, to be so sad. The and refused to end my pregnancy. My husband at the time and I wanted our baby, and there was a lot of coercion. We were being come at hard they like to them. not follow through with the pregnancy. Oh, do you, so you see him have to shut the door? Do you see him shut the door? Because they don't want the truth coming in. in Seattle. But while I was there. They did a, a process on me. They do have lights on. Rollback. 
And See, I know you know how they to just do don't that. have it on the and sign because they can't afford it. it some of like a, this is only lit up at night. It, and, you know, my daughter's now. This is 33 years ago. <laughs> no, I don't remember they hate exactly, it. but it was along the lines of trying to find out where I got the idea that it was okay to be pregnant. Yeah, Aaron's so door better not be broken on his new foundation. Start a rollback, but I'm not positive. They can pull it shut and lock it. It sounded almost like an interrogatory where it was. Who said it, what It'll stay like that until somebody like goes out the back door different. to smoke, but and then it blasts put, open again. Simply put, there's a reference in every book in the, every library in the world, supposedly, called the Ethics Book, Scientology Ethics Book. Ethics Book, there's a reference in there called Ethics Officer Character, and there it says, the Ethics Officer puts the person on the e-meter and asks him who gave him the idea to XYZ, and then you trace it back. Uh, and then you go to the next person and trace it back and you go to the um, next person. Samantha, back, somebody from some of these people from OSA would for person. sure. Some of the OSA Roll people here that are doing the Div six training would for sure know her. And if not, they'd know him. So you're supposed to ask them questions like, Has anyone ever told you that you should leave the Sea Org and have a family? Has anyone suggested that family is okay to you? Has anyone said you that you should um, go have a family outside the New York. Is it more important? Has anyone pushed on you that Scientology is less important than um, living in the mess universe? Well, that's matter, energy, space, and time. It's like pretty much the real world. <laughs> yeah, the, the, yeah, the real world, as we call it, for sure. So you ask them questions like that, but you you have to make up the question in regards to the situation. So you're just trying to find out who has been talking to, which we're starting a whispering campaign in regards to something, because a lot of times on these uh, they abortion might. evolutions, I call them abuse. Well, we, we called them inside the Sea Org, but the abortion evolutions, and they would happen every two or three years. Wait. It happened in 98, happened in 2001, it happened in 2003. I was there for the 2001, 2003. There was one in 2007. There's one in 2009. There's one in 2012. Exactly. They hate that we are telling their they secrets. As you can tell by now, they've um, now they've turned up their stupid music. And we're happy. Yeah, and then, yeah, but what I do a whole rollback investigation in time in order to find the suppressors oh. pushing this idea. So they're trying to find not only a suppressor. Is there's 84, is five decibels? A suppressor that is connected to a log where it never is. We think foolishly you are hurt. It's pretty loud. We're trying to find that for the go and fair game that person. Not me yeah, snitching. We need to say evolution. Did you see that? Did you see me snitch? Did you just see me snitch on the F Scientos because they turned up their music? And did. And did. And did. You think I won't snitch? Because I will. I just won't call them if they're not here. Yeah. Like one bad evolution. Yeah. No, but that's like one day. Over a period of months. Okay. Appreciate you. Different evolution. They do it so that they can copyright my stream and get it taken down. But this is definitely louder than 85. <laughs> 85 is 85, and they're a business. And this sound actually does have to be encompassed by a ceiling and four walls if they don't have a permit for it. But it's okay, I can play too. Yeah, they did that a few Yeah, for one day. They don't, I check it every day. They, uh, they think that I'm some idiot criminal. And they don't realize that I'm a PhD who has a, more of an idea of what's going on in and out of that cult than they do. So I don't break the law, but I won't let them walk all over me either. Educational measurement and statistics, like standardized tests and stuff. Yeah, your kid's about four and a half foot of not so smart. No, not like that. Not like that. That's right. That's right. Exactly. Exactly. 
that's like the, the star testing and all that, evaluating yep. how that all works. There's statistical models that go into building it and analyzing it, and that's what I do. All of it, for sure. Yep. Yeah, I'm cybersecurity consultant. I consult on that. And then in my free time, I tell the truth about these people. Right. Yep. That's all statistics and psychology. Right. Yeah, it's like, oh, oh, start testing, start testing. Yeah, right. I don't know what the hell it is. Right. When I was in school, we had that test. Right. Well, those were still made by psychometricians. Yes, peace lady. I, I feel like I can trust this guy. He's, he's been very, very nice to me, and I've met him before. They're just suspect, you know. Only on that train. This is the first time that I can roll He's a nice guy, y'all. There you go. Part of what we do here is to make sure that everybody's right. And he's doing a great job. See, they're saying hi. Hi, Mac. <laughs> Stay dry. We're getting wet here. That's right. <laughs> Talks about different ways of influencing people to do things. So he's saying L1 Hubbard. No, said I've not seen Clapp and Kyle. I have not seen Kyle. Yeah, that it was two, it was a couple of government agency officials, FBI went, agents. FBI agents went into a bar, yep. roused up whatever his name is. The guy who shot. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Shot. John F. Kennedy. Slump, start again! Uh, well, and they convinced him. Was it like a one day thing or did they work on it for a while? It was one one or two paragraphs in there. You know, that's how I want to cover I know, I'm kind of jealous. I want one. that one. That was yeah, not the one that up thinking, now you have to. Oh, like, actually, I love this coat. Zone. And I just waterproof it with so beeswax. All in there is two FBI went into um, the bar and then talked about, um, like, Got him riled up and made the enemy JFK. Made the enemy did or who yeah. That's interesting. We're there and that's all like that's all I know. That's all he said about it. It was just like boom, to hear this little like heaven that Look at her plug her ears. Can't let the truth get in. Don't let the truth get in there. Don't let the truth in. Don't let the truth get in. There's a lot of conspiracy theories about uh that he has ones like he had he these are just his past lives so I mean one of his one of his past lives has to do with uh, in the Egyptian times there was a she for real put like ear plug ear like plugged her ears. I don't know what just happened to my Hold on. Life of his, he witnessed an Egyptian with a, a ray gun from like an advanced, yes, civilization under his cloak. Okay. Yeah. So was this in a lecture? You know, you just, you hear it and it's like gone. Yeah. And then he's back oh, to talking about She just about hit that car. Objectives. She just hit that uh, car. Give me the stuff about the ray gun. Yeah. <laughs> we just saw you hit the car. <laughs> Part of the record about that, and I kind of forgot about that. He would be talking about a particular subject, especially in a lecture, where much of the materials that were studied, especially on the confidential level, were from lectures that he did or then he sat down and wrote them. Yeah, is how he would pepper in these little bits of pieces about history I told and what happened and his own conspiracy theories about things. But the I feel like the best ones <laughs> were in those confidential levels. What did you do to pull that in? What did you do to pull that in? Oh, I wish I was in there. 
trying to figure out how to do that. You might be in there. You might be in there. I don't know. I don't know how they're gifted, how that's done, but I think they'll figure it out. Yeah, I appreciate it. Okay, so on also on this, you said there are pages and pages of it. Oh yes, you had that. There are just a couple. I watched that happen. Which I mean. So this is the belief officer uh, also that had had, had um, health training in California. So he knows what's up. I feel like there are many uh, connections to nature. Yeah. 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 Ye
the in the fifties where like everyone was a Nazi. If you somebody you had a no, they close at like ten so, here. You know, it, it it just keeps going back to well, who are they hanging out with? Who do they know? And that is very much it seems the Scientology role in it as well. And then when they're being handled on it afterwards, let's talk a little bit about false data stripping and what that is and how it's used as a te technique to manipulate the Scientologists into thinking their idea of having a family freedom and conversation and going to a movie is such a horrific idea. All state is tripping is when, when L. Ron Hubbard is saying you have one idea and another idea and then they get mixed into one new idea in order to make them work. And he says, the, this is the false data. And before you can get the false data stripping in um, a non-session, but you can also do false data stripping in real sessions. And they find what led up to agreeing with the false data in the first place. Okay, so that's in the session, though. That's where you handle evil intentions and overs and whistles that preceded the false data. I'm glad you got to meet it, too. The false data. Yeah. So you do like an education step regarding whatever subject it is. All the word salad. You get the true data. Then you get asked. And the true data, I'm assuming, is going to be something coming from L. Ron Hubbard. That source. That yeah. source. Yeah. That source. So, hey, you know, you know, no one messes with that. <laughs> Even COB, he promotes himself as being on source. You know, that's why. It's so hard for us to understand from the outside looking in. How can these people trust him when we see he's off source? <laughs> yeah, they see him as on source. Yeah, I mean, really. In fact, neuropsych just asked a question that really made me think of something. Are they are they making disbelieve what you did believe? And that that yes. is doing. Yes, exactly. So exactly, yes, and that can apply not only to data, but it can also apply to personalities, attributes, attitudes. Valences, mm -hmm. which are identity. Hold on, y'all. I'm just so looking you, for some you videos. You believe you were one way before, and you say strip this off you as not believing now exactly, because it needs to be replaced by whatever the source, whatever L. Ron Hubbard said, whatever Scientology wants you to believe. Like they want you to accept that having children is not something a Sea Org member should want or do. Yeah. So what would be the reference regarding that? Um, Let's, let's think of a reference where L. Ron Hubbard uh, said that you shouldn't have a baby and leave with New York. But I don't think he ever did because I don't think he came out after he. There's a reference. It's in the if There's a book called 8808, and oh, yeah. in there it's a chapter on vacation. And in there he says how low tone and things like that. To go on vacation. This is Louis Repetto. Yeah, to go on vacation. So basically. He said that in that. So it means you're, and for those who don't know, low tone in Scientology just means like you're low vibe. Like your vibe yeah. is low. You're, you're low vibe. You need to be more up here. <laughs> yeah, another thing is in expanded Dianetics, mm -hmm. there are uh, examples of where L. Ron Hubbard is doing case supervising, mm -hmm. and the situations are when the executives have a, um, something that is. Making they just keep about turning it up. World, it's obnoxious. World, he calls it. Yeah. And then he has an exact program of auditing, of false data tripping and check checking to get the person to get their attention off the wall world and back onto their bridge, which is Scientology. Yeah, exactly. And, and, and they were Stewart members. They were Stewart members. Yeah. And this is done as well to people who are members of Scientology and not in this organization. I mean, the public are subjected to this as well at times. So it's not limited to the organization members, but it says a lot about why in Scientology and especially in the C organization, you don't want them watching television or reading newspapers or magazines or being on the internet having any way to be introduced to any type of outside giving lower conditions. And if they are, this yeah. is the handling. This is what will be done to them. So people who are watching here in the chat, if you're catching this on the replay, and you hear us say all the time that, oh, if I did that, I would be put into re what we now today call reprogram. 
reprogramming. Mm -hmm. If I did that, I would get in trouble and have to do these interrogations. This is what we're talking about right now. This is what will be done. And it's so insidious because it strips you of basically your will, your choice, and instead puts in what L. Ron Hubbard said and what Scientology wants as being the true, the true thing that you should believe. I, you know, it's crazy because, like, I know this and I even had it done to me, but talking to you and having that other point of view of it, I'm just like, holy crap. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's such a cool, right? It's yeah. crazy. I just didn't going, know it. I no, going know through it. it, I just thought, even when I had rollback after I got pregnant, and I was just, and I don't even remember what it's I okay, they turn it up, I turn it up. I could give a fuck. Because it just makes sense to think that way. But they, you really get to see how how they're so keeping Scientology in line and the Scientologists and keeping those blinders on. Because these, these interrogations aren't just questioning you. They're actually manipulating a person's yeah. mind and adjusting it exactly. Talk, adjusting a little bit it. Yeah. Yeah. Talk a little bit more about that, like how these techniques result in someone being, you know, just that, right? They have their there own is. idea. Yeah. False data. So you get the vacation reference out. You have them re read that by L. Ron Hubbard. Then you say, Appreciate is there you, anything regarding this? Mm, just a northern girl. With? And they go, why? Oh, I just, I can't think with the... Yeah, there is. Okay. Have you been given any false data regarding this? And then the person has to answer that question. They know that. They're, they're drilled into, you know, you have to answer it. Otherwise... You won't have a floating needle at the examiner. You'll be red tagged, and that's a whole situation. And that that goes over, and also you know you can't leave. It's like so many things. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, so then is. in the end, the result. Austin Police Department. Is an who is now operating. Off of the I think he thought that the sound was coming out of the doors, and that's why he did it. Man, it is so I'm using a when you, phone when plugged really into this, like megaphone. That, really this megaphone. This yeah, megaphone. Really I have a phone plugged wow. into it. Yeah, they have to feel like they, they have to feel the Because you can't use a PA. A you have to use a megaphone. Feel almost like it was yeah, like, oh, you can get oh, in trouble for a PA, but not that. a megaphone. You're right. You're right. Yeah. Oh, that's so that can't fake it. You can't fake it. At least, if you believe in the e-meter at that point, yeah, if you believe the meter is going to yeah. know what you're thinking, kind of, mm -hmm. then you can't really fake it. You have to kind of convince yourself, like, buy into it. Yeah, I think. Uh, this is it. a 14. No, it's totally part of it. Betsy, you. The or is it, this is a 13. You loved your marketing. No, this is a 13 video. Pro. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah, they were, I just was. 13 Pro. I had wanted to do it for so long, and I kept thinking about it, so I just did it one day, like three in a row. And I was just so over well, it. Well, it's so much like, easier uh, than me yelling at me. I can still break into song every now and again, but like, so, I'm not trying to yell at these know, idiots oh anymore. God. They've all heard it. No, I know. I never stimulated. Yeah, you got you, you got triggered. Capital One oh, call she, out. Thank you so much. She for drove away. Gifting that membership. Hip hip array. Thank you. The lady who oh, hit I the car drove false away. Data yeah, false data okay. stripping. Yeah, false data stripping. Um, Neuropsych has a question. Have you had any? Have you had therapy or anything to help you get out of that mindset? I have had the Wog World. Uh, the, yeah. Not the Wog World. It's the best. It's the, be it's it's the best the megaphone I've ever used. used. Yeah, it's awesome. Sorry. It's word too many. The yeah. outside world, the non scientologists <laughs> um, They're just hiding yeah, inside now. A mess universe. I would say it has been. The I best, see Jackie, best the Sea Org member, who's uh, in charge of teaching everyone anything. how to recruit. She's not doing anything. Uh, um, it's been like being out in heaven. No, and yeah, the police like officers are too. Leaving the sea work and coming into the real world and experiencing our Oh, this life. music. It's been like nothing I could have ever imagined, and it's been heaven. They really it's should. It's been a total vacation. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I no, they don't, I'm sure they don't have insurance. They don't even believe in like driver's like, licenses. What do you, uh, I guess you get even the fun. Even work is fun compared to working in a cult. 
that's because just, I dreaded having to do these rollback interviews because you knew when I did them. I yes, I am talking about your girl. Videos, I am talking about you know, your girl. Religious technology was her and her greasy watch. hair in the back. These evolutions are run by Religious Technology Center when they when they have all of these. Yeah, this uh, music is uh, like mind numbing. Evolutions or when leading staff are leaving. Yeah, in parades. Um, they have the RTC will run a program through the Commoners Messenger Org and they will run that to senior ACL onto the org, which is security, essentially. So security is doing all these rollbacks mm-hmm. on you. You know, that's physical security. The physical security people, they're the ones doing the rollback on you. You know, they're the ones that are keeping you not you're not allowed to stay up past midnight and that they walk around the buildings and they write you up, you know, and you get in trouble. They're the ones that are circling around the building and watching you if you go off the base. And, yeah, you they, know, they're watching they you just take advantage. Hallway. There's cameras, smoke detectors, and they're also and the no ones taxes. with the doing these rollbacks to find out. Rollbacks like Walmart. The they're doing rollbacks, like, rollbacks like Walmart. They're roll back, rolling back the savings. Be happy with the children and love bodies. Yeah, who gave you that stupid idea? It's probably uh, like writing like I Bart Simpson. Like, I will, I, I will not listen to Pearl Snappy. I will not listen to Pearl Snappy. I will not listen to Pearl Snappy. Not when I was there. Tell me, Louis, do you know when you were there? We would take them, because I was the staff section officer, so I was over the medical liaison officer, which is a person that takes the Sea Org members to their doctor's appointment. Uh, real, a real one. There's a Planned Parenthood that we used, and it was always free. So would people be sent to the Planned Parenthood, or would Sierra members too, go get those supplies and then distribute them to us? Oh, I get what you're saying. No, they would have to go to the Planned Parenthood themselves. And the Planned Parenthood was right down the street from PAC. So well, like Kyle's the only one that can audit to clear here, so... Unless it's in pairs of three, you have to get approval through your local ethics officer and security at the base has to know you're going. So you have to call in advance and make sure they know so that they know to tell the person I'm on glad you physical can't hear security it. that they don't have to stop you. Or leave. Wow. And yeah, yeah. And they just, I've been stopped many times. Wow. In my, in my day, we established that, like, I was in this York 30 years ago. It was in two. So when I went to Planned Parenthood, which is when a friend took me to get my pregnancy test, it was the two of us. <laughs> but I had yeah. I would just go across the street and stuff. I didn't have to be with somebody. But the, more recently, you That's were there. That's a good question, Motherhood. Probably not. People. They probably just have to have Davey punch them in the face and have their teeth <laughs> fall out. Ryan Boswell... Yeah, uh, well, your music's too uh, loud. Go complain about it to somebody else. Keep your TRs in. You're off the rails. Ella Hubbard says, nope, this is all based on Ella Not Hubbard. her telling me yeah. I'm too loud. Are you Making kidding me? You're too all loud. Yeah. Turn down the music. I'll turn down uh, mine. Yeah, unless you're in a, um, a group. And then they defined it. Three people. Three people. What if you wanted to, you were able to, like, during your cleaning time, run over, run a couple blocks away to, I remember there was a store there, like a dollar store or something. Yeah. You I had think that to might be Stacy's sister. If there was a cross, like, somebody in this chat will know. The camera view. Mm-hmm. Um, you could do it. But I only thought the cameras could go and go as far as you could see, like, as far as you could see a store. Yeah. So I'd go across there. Oh like my god, break, you're so loud. Well, your terrible cult music is too loud. You know what else oh, is too oh, loud? Your oh, child oh, trafficking. You your child trafficking is loud too. Yeah. 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 You could, and the Georgia General Store that I could see, yeah. that was about 75 feet she away. She can go cry about it. She can go cry. Look, she is crying about it. There she is crying about it. To Tanya. She's crying to Tanya about it. And they had security. You see come him over, crying to Tanya about it. Come over to there and stand out there with the, his on his bicycle. Oh, does the truth hurt? You're that. super cool. Wow. Oh, you don't oh, like the God. truth? So sad. So sad for you. Oh, that is just crazy. I'm gonna grab a couple more questions and comments here. If you long stalking forever, Ella Rach was well versed in despicable moments. So sad. 
So sad for you. So sad. So sad. It sure is. <laughs> um, someone's asking as well, mind wipe, what's the difference between a KR and rollback? Rollback is the interview itself. I put someone on the cans. They're holding the cans. I have the e-meter. I'm asking them the questions. They are answering, and I'm writing down the information. Then I end it. Oh, so then sad. So sad. So sad. So sad. Look at those tears. A report. It says at the top of it, knowledge report. Oh, they're all the caught. I mean, what are they going to do? Call the police? They're already here. File plus a carbon copy, multiple executives regarding it. <laughs> then I write time, place, form, and event in the report. Well, I guess if no one gives a shit about their decibels, I don't give a shit about mine either. Mail it off. Send it off. Whatever. Wow. Yeah, in my day, I don't remember uh, too many computers. Like, it depends on what your job. I mean, there weren't many, you know, with the internal pilot thing and all that. I mean, but come I know on. that still by what you shared earlier that if you put the word Xenu into a C-Org computer, that mm -hmm. in common, in common is C-Org, they're a high-up organization that... At least just be honest about it then. ...and, you know, the Fucking whole answers. setup for technology, for Scientology, for the base there. Yeah, I showed up at your desk. <laughs> they showed up. I was freaked out. Did I was freaked out. You? So what okay, so you a report was written on you for writing the word you and then putting it into the computer. You had no idea what that was. I didn't know about it. I still didn't know for years. Yeah, because it came up and somebody said the word to you when when you were doing this rollback on them. So you had heard it. So you didn't know what that was until you left the C organization. And when you found out what Zeno was, what did you think about that? I couldn't make sense of it. Mm -hmm. Hey everybody, it's time for another in the car update here before work. So, yesterday Claire testified, and uh, let me just say the fact that, uh, first of all, I did turn sideways for all the people who have been requesting that. There you go. It is harder. I'm in the car, I don't have a tripod in my car, okay? So, I'm holding it with one hand. Um, so yeah, hopefully this is better. I know I'm on the YouTubes, um, so I'm trying my best. Um, so I appreciate you. Thank you, Dragon but, Tears. Of course, I can play as well. But <clears throat> back to the subject at hand. So uh, Claire Headley testified yesterday, and what's revolutionary about this, um, everyone, y'all, is He's that more like Mr. Belvedere. She basically performed a master class in Scientology, laying out oh, Tanya's uh, so mad. her history in Scientology, which, um, like me, she was born in, but she started getting trained um, at a very young age, and then joined the Sea Org um, at 14, and became an auditor, and then was in RGC, which is, of course, the highest rank, and became the number three in Scientology, David Miscavige, uh, Marty Rathbun, then her, um, in terms of, like, the high ranking. When I met Claire, she was still not not that just there yet. She was like um, just about to become an RC training. She was still at Thank gold. Thank you so much, Mother. Uh, when I met house. her, she was Appreciate a gold representative, support. and I was at Celebrity Center. And then I, when I encountered her for the second time, she was an RTC training, and I was at um, Flag training. And I remember I made I always make a faux pas when I know people because we became friends, and I was interested in going to gold. And she was very sweet to me, and I saw her, and I didn't realize she was an RTC trainee, and we had been, we were friends, and so I saw her at Flag, and I ran up to her, and I was like, Claire, and I ran to her and gave her a hug, and everyone was like, oh my god, and she gave me a hug back because she's very sweet, and then she was like, hey, listen, I'm an RTC trainee, and I was like, yeah, we got to get, um, having an interaction like this, and I was like, oh, oh. It was like hugging God in front of like the disciples and things. I appreciate that. I will. I'm making some emotes and stuff now. Too. You know, like, I just want to be ready. I was just this complete moronic maroon. Um, but you know, it's me. So I got away with it and I didn't die or like get, you know, thrown in the stockade or something. Um, it's fine. I'm still here and alive, obviously. Um, yeah, true story. Anyway. Um, Kids can't consent! Uh, 
Sorry. Back to what she testified about yesterday. So very interesting points. So she got basically all of Scientology on the record in an actual court of law. None of that was stricken from the record. Fantastic, fantastic job. But what I wanted to touch on in particular today <clears throat> was a, a very particular point that she brought up, which was these ethics. Yes, yeah, shut that door! With a yawn. When you are considered a upstat in Scientology. Okay? So, um, when you are, and statistics are a very big thing in Scientology, everybody is to keep statistics. You keep track of your production, okay, and your production is very, very important. These are all the things that you're doing in Scientology on a weekly basis. And your work week in Scientology goes from Thursday at 2 p.m. to Thursday at 2 p.m. And it's, it, let me tell you, Wednesday to Thursday at 2 p.m. in a Scientology org is complete madness. Thanks so okay. much for stopping if by mother, Motherhood to Menopause to and thanks for your support. I appreciate you. Um, anywhere, go to a Scientology org like Thursday at like uh, noon. It's just off the walls bonker doodles. Okay. Um, yeah. I used to get like like severe PTSD on um, Thursdays just in general. Just start sweating. Right, I know. Get inside. Upset every Thursday. I, I probably don't get that anymore. Today is Thursday. Um, and I don't really care. I'm going to have no anxiety all day. Um, yeah, I've worked really hard. Lots of therapy, lots of other stuff. And I'm good. All right. So, uh, but regular psychologists do statistics, their companies do statistics, all this stuff. Um, yeah. And, um, but, if, if your stats as a regular Scientologist would be like, if you, like Claire mentioned, going on study regularly, um, that means you're participating in the courses of Scientology or receiving the auditing and progressing up the bridge to Scientology. That also would include your donations that you're giving to the Church of Scientology, okay? Where your membership status is, okay? So you can be a lifetime member, and then the membership in the International Association of Scientology has different levels, what kind of book campaign to get into, all the other minor organizations. Oh, see, now he's, on the, now he's on the phone with his friends, living, like, oh, I can't hear. You know why you can't fucking hear? Because the music's too fucking loud. Into the church. All these things, okay, in combination, would equal whether or not you are considered upstaff, like, and by that, that means you're in good standing, you're a good person in the eyes of the Turkey Scientology, or if you're a downstaff. And that also includes who you are Look at associated him sit there. with. Are your friends and family members also doing these things, or are they, are they poop doodles okay? Are they bad people, right? So, um... <clears throat> This can work in your favor. So if somebody, if you're if you're doing all these things, right, and you are uh, playing the game, as Scientology wants you to, and somebody in your life gets cranky with you, and I'm like, ah, well, Nora was a bitch to me the other day, and blah, 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 and writes a report on you for something, right? Let's just say, let's say you didn't do something nice to somebody. The ethics officer may get this report and say, well, Nora is an upstack and just take the report and just go boop and put it right in your ethics file and not even read it because I'm an upstack. So, so basically the ethics officer goes, thank you so much for your report. That's nice. And then just carries on and does nothing. Does absolutely nothing. And the report could be anything. No, the, the cop's trying be, to figure out what the uh, hell he's I supposed to do. I saw Nora kissing Santa Claus. I saw Nora you know, rob a bank, I saw Nora be, you know, a, a person in a parking lot, I saw Nora stab a guy in the alleyway, it could be an actual crime, okay, or it could be a nothing burger, or it could be something in Scientology that's considered bad, but um, if I am an upstaff, not him running, it goes away with a yawn, that's what that means, and literally, it could be an actual crime, in the real world, outside Scientology, should be a police report attached to it, such as SA. Okay, real story time here. So uh, back in my celebrity center days, I was. This is Word this Twitter. is Nora, Southern Yankee. This is Nora. Uh, oh no, Nora. Terms that somebody who sits in the classroom 
and when you're studying the things that Alvaro Hubbard is using his immense vocabulary to use all the twenty-five dollar words because he's just a crazy maniacal, crazy person um, to get you and get you in the cold speak and also to brainwash you. Um, uh, my job was to use many dictionaries to get you to understand those words. Okay. Um, I happen to be the highest grossing word clear on the planet. My stats are like this, if you look at the graph, and they actually went into various states. Like your stats can be very, very bad, but they can be very good. The highest state your stats can be in is what's called power. My stats were in power. Yeah, he's and, running the NIAS now. Uh, chief officer, which is like one step below the commanding officer of 4% Renee hated me with a casio. Um, she was always trying to get me in trouble for something. She wanted me gone. The, the most oh, that's the lady who thinks I'm too loud. Uh, from the second she saw me, she was literally. There's Vicky in the back. Guys. There's Vicky. From the second I graduated, the EPF. Um, and um, so she started a, a org wide interrog, which is a, a fancy word for she put out like a all org survey trying to get the dirt on me. Uh, and the second I saw that this air rug went out, um, I appealed it to the highest power that Look I could. how mad Vicky North. is. What's up, Vicky? Well, how are you doing, girl? To my friend, because I always make friends, um, uh, to the Elvron Hubbard communicator, who was the only person that had the power to overturn this. And I went to her and I said, listen, this is off policy because my stats are in power. I filed all my stats. Look at them all dialing their phones. Uh, this in no way, shape, or form should um, be going out um, because I am in a state of power. Look at how mad uh, she is! So mad! So mad! So mad! So mad! Oh, so sad! Oh, look at the big baby Santa! Child trafficker! Child trafficker! You're off the rolls! Totally out of control! Do what you did to me, because I was an upset. Now, let me tell you. The bullet and backlash for Mr. Satisfaction when I got. She was so mad. He wants to laugh. This guy wants to laugh. This guy wants to laugh, for sure. It was amazing. But it worked in my favor because I, it shouldn't happen. Uh, now, so was mad. she about to find out that I was Vicky? Yes. <laughs> um, but actually, she wouldn't have found out that I was the gay. She was trying to find out if I was doing criminal acts. Um, in Scientology, is that a crime? Yes. Yes. Would she have found that out from the survey? No, because nobody had seen me doing it the day. Because I wasn't stupid. I wasn't like in the hallway making out. Hello. Duh. One second, okay. y'all. But it goes even higher than that. My father uh, got a commendation from Mal Ron Albert. Brought in a thousand hours. And because of this, he was declared what's called a kakan. This was an honor bestowed on to like 10 people in all of Scientology. The highest order that you can get in all of ethics. Okay, a kakan is someone who can be forgiven murder five times over. Can never be harmed. Yeah, that's my babysitter, Jen. That's my babysitter. In all of Scientology. Mm -hmm. You can literally go and murder someone and be forgiven for it. To say that my father used this and not paying child support, uh, you know, uh, abandoning us, other things, you know, uh, would be an understatement, okay? Um, yeah. Scientology did a number on him. That's a whole other bag of chips for another time. But these are the things that Scientologists truly believe. Okay, so when the Jane Doe's went to Scientology, okay, and they reported these actual crimes. Yeah, can you imagine how miserable that had to be? Okay, and they went in good faith to their religious institution as they were commanded to do to report a crime. And Danny Masterson is automatically considered an upstat because. Why? Because he's a celebrity. 
and he's protecting the church and delivering people into the church and he's communicating good works about the church and he's an example of Scientology in the world. Look at me. Look what Scientology That's does. Chris, it makes uh, apparently they do today. And you can come here and be bobbled. I'd rather him be here, come, though, than them try to call the police and say I'm doing some shit I'm not doing. Like, yeah. So he's automatically upset. As long as he's not out there snorting cocaine off of a table, off of, you know, you know, boobies or something, he's not, you know, there's no salacious pictures of him doing something like that in the media. He's upset. That's it. That's all he has to do is exist. Okay? That's all a has to do is exist in the public and not have their picture plastered all over the up, place up, doing something stupid like that. Okay? So... That is my own bitch. You know what that means. It's time to clock in. But if those reports were filed in good faith to the ethics office. Oh, he's back on the phone. They were probably filed away and there Mom, was, you know, I'm so afraid of this SP outside. I'm so afraid. Up the line. Altered. Because that was the policy. It's Thursday. Have a good Thursday. I'll see you guys later. Good morning. It is Monday. And today we're going to talk about holidays and birthdays and Scientology. So, um, I'm not a super huge fan. Um, probably, yes, the cult. Um, so, <clears throat> true story time. Thanks, y'all, for hanging out with me. Uh, I spent one of the most significant I hate birthdays that so have, much. Uh, inside the cold, and that was my 21st birthday. Um, which was completely ruined, of course. I was on post uh, as the word clearer in the tech course rooms, and um, it was a Thursday. Everybody's favorite I'm day. happy y'all are here. Yes, a Thursday. And um, it was a very busy day. And I did not get to do the usual 21st birthday things that, um... He does you know, kind of a beetle haircut. Like going to a bar and enjoying your first drink of alcohol and, um, whooping it up, okay? Uh, my 20s, the college years, all those things were spent firmly inside the cold. So, um, I didn't do any of those things. I did not sew wild oats and um, uh, do those things. Christmases, uh, Thanksgiving. Uh, Find Zenu here for 500K. Those yeah, are right. Of you because you're working 10 to sometimes 15 hours a day. So Appreciate you. Um, you did have some time off three hours every Sunday or Saturday day. I'm to glad you're hanging out door. here. I like hanging hey, out with y'all too. Time. He did get a so super talk. Um, to make sure that you white gloved your dormitory. I'm glad you come uh, here because I'm quarters and yelling over it and That's yelling it. over Nora. And then if you're very, very, very fortunate to get um, uh, time off approved, so now uh, this is louder than mine. You can't tell me that's 85. So, well, then I'm not obeying it either. Then I'm not obeying it either. If your statistics were high and you were not somehow in a lower condition for something else. What's good for the goose, right? The stars and the sun and the moon aligned and your department was doing well. Then yes, you could ask for a day off. But it was really frowned upon to take that uh, that day off. Really wasn't a good thing. And oh my gosh, Chanel away? Are you joking me? What? What? Um. Yeah. When I uh, when my father died, died suddenly. When I was 19 years old. I'd been in the Sea Org for I don't know eight nine months. I, I want to uh, make a I want to make Legos. Got suddenly heart attack. Um, they granted me an emergency LOA. So I was in a daze. I was trying to deal with my Well, I'm going to win. That's the difference. Um, you know what I mean? I'm going to win. As a 19-year-old to be the liaison uh, between I just, my, my stepmother 
My last uh, fuck to give. Really Just that's it. Family. That was my last fuck and, to give. Flying uh, away. Them and my sister and my mother and like all these like responsibilities felt to me. Um, and I went to Northern California to kind of like yes, I will. You know try and help his mother deal with this grief. My stepmother didn't even allow him to go walking down the street body. complaining about the music um, now. We love that. It was a whole disaster. It whole thing. Um, and expulsion from the church because I wasn't returning to my post within three days of my father dying. Um, yeah. So they don't, they don't even really care when someone's died. Okay, this is how much time off that I'll give you. So back to my 21st birthday, I'm running around literally between the second and the third floor trying to make sure that all the things are happening and we are all, you know, uh, completing courses and people are getting all these things happening. Look at him sneaking out the side door. Look at him confronting and shattering suppression by running out the side door like a bunch of idiots. For me, that said, I still have this banner somewhere that says "Happy Birthday to me" and to the you know, I was not, like the best word clearer on the planet. And um, one of my students who worked for John Travolta at the time um, had asked him to sign a picture, you know, and he was like, "Oh, I don't normally, you know, like mm, I can't believe you're asking me for this for one of your friends." And she was like, "Actually, it's for a serious member." And he was like, "Well, why didn't you say so?" You know, um, and he signed this really cool picture um, for me, and they made this like whole big deal. And they stopped, like, you know, my 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 senior Wendy stopped class to do an announcement. We only stopped class to do announcements, like when somebody was graduating a, a, a course or something. And you know, and they brought out like some cupcakes, and they sang "Happy Birthday to Me," and I got this huge banner. And Thank you, like, Chris. I appreciate that. It, it made me cry a little bit. That like they had done like a special. Yeah, this guy looks so thrilled. In the middle of the day on a Thursday, to wish me He's happy crying birthday. Little, little hot um, dog water tears. You know, we did get in a little bit of trouble. To stop production. To be off task. To say happy birthday to me. Um, which had nothing to do with completing students, you know, uh, which was so off, you know, the thing. Um, yeah, exactly. Hello, oh, there's a really not, not a short but loud no. SP. Uh, but it was nice. It was nice. I don't know. He, he at least has some um, personality. There's not a lot that of that here. Nice oh my God, that's amazing. Other than that, Nothing else ever, ever, ever happened. Look at those stupid day. door handles. Except for one time on RPF, some a friend of mine on the RPF remembered it was just my to be real clear and bought me a cake from right. and a cookie from the canteen. Now he's just looking down and was like, "I remembered it was your birthday. Like remember the day that it was my birthday." And yeah. <sighs> Yeah, and I have so many people that love me now, and I have so many people that care. This could be you if you just left. You could have this experience too. You could have love too, but you don't want that. You want to be in your child trafficking cult. Call your mother. I'm so grateful for that, but it's so hard to like. You could feel love too. Just leave your coat. You know, to me, like, even just want to like tell people that it's my birthday or that it's coming up or that it's like a thing because it's just, like, it just sucks. You know, that holidays are just stupid and that they're dumb and that stuff like that is just ruined because every time one comes up I just feel like it's dumb and it doesn't matter and you know who cares you know and 
and it's just like those are the things that Scientology steals from you. It steals joy from your life. And it's just so stupid to cry right now about it. Like I'm about to go to work so I have to get myself together. But it's just like this is what I don't want for other people. Like whenever anybody asks me like why do you speak out about it? Why do you care? Why does it matter? Why does this trial matter? Why did all these things matter? Because it's the tiny things in life. The tiny bits of joy that we get from seeing someone else open a present that you put thought into, seeing someone get excited to go to a party for, for whatever reason. You know, life, every day that you wake up. They just keep turning it up and no one's doing yeah. fuck all. Breathing, that you have people surrounding you that love you, that you get to. I guess I don't have enough money to control the people. And that there is a surprise waiting for you during the day. And if that surprise also includes a celebration for something that is amazing, like a birthday or a holiday or something that is extra fun, then you should also get to. How much money to pay off the APD to let you play your bullshit and I can't play mine? Ask us for a friend. It's not for the greatest good, for the greatest number of dynamics. And it's not about L. Ron Hubbard. Because I'll tell you what, all of the bells and whistles come out for that guy. And it's all about him. I'm Where's their warning? Celebrate that guy. Where's their warning? Do you have any idea the things they've said to me? Where the fuck myself. is their warning? That's okay. Tell me that. Because you know, they get in my face and they scream at me. Honest. I don't get in their faces and uh, scream. Around the sun and cruise into my 48th year with style, grace, and happiness, and joy. Okay? And uh, that's it for today. I hope you guys have a great I don't use Monday. that kind of language. I hope it's filled with joy. Well, yeah, because I'm frustrated. It's a double standard. Can you understand why I'm double? Because it's amazing that you're here. But you're the one who can enforce it, aren't you? Oh, okay. Happy Tuesday, everybody. It's time for another curbside chat, parking lot professional, whatever you want to call it. Uh, we're going to go over one of my favorite Scientological uh, phrases. It's not official in the dictionary. There were two dictionaries, by the way. Um, the admin dictionary for the peeps, uh, for the phrases that were exclusive to admin purposes, and the tech dictionary uh, for all of the technical phrases. Those kind of got phased out later. Um, <clears throat> because I am. Um, even though there was an entire word clearing technology um, and you were never supposed to only use glossaries I guess not clear bear I guess not um, they didn't want people finding um, definitions of Scientology and Dianetics in modern dictionaries because they used the bad C word the, the exactly word, right um, associated with that um, in some modern dictionaries exactly so they, uh, because the speakers can't hear me. I'm not talking to the speakers. I'm talking to the person who can enforce who can enforce the law. This is disturbing the peace. And then those were the only definitions that you were allowed to use for the Scientological words, and some of also the big five, ten, fifteen dollar words that Alan Hubbard liked to use. But there was a term. Today's word is, uh, <laughs> for those fans of Pee-wee's Playhouse uh, out there, like myself, um, oh my god, I want to go into a whole Pee-wee's Playhouse rant, mecca like a high, mecca high, oh, sorry, I'm getting off a whole rant, uh, uh, today's word is back and shred, so for those deep divers in the Scientology universe, you may know that uh, L. Ron connected all of the Scientology orcs 
be an instant um, root of communication known as no, see, the issue is that everyone here thinks that I'm the idiot, that I don't understand what's going on. So the people inside think that they could just be welfare queens and call the police whenever they want. Okay? And then I'm supposed to not notice that they're blasting their music and that there's a double standard here. I'm not supposed to realize that. I'm just supposed to sit here and think it's okay for him to shut the door so that they can't hear me, but not turn down their music, which is too loud. I'm not supposed to figure that out. Is that right? Okay, because I'm just checking. I, I'm just trying to be real crystal clear. Real crystal, crystal clear. Um, with another psychology word, I'll call it, you know, talk about later, but also phone lines could be less secure because it's considered very secure and instantaneous. And, um, I have it from a previous accuracy, report. Uh, because, you know, it was the 90s and less paper. So when you would tell like, someone, um, the certain people would receive the telexes and they would have to read them and then they would have to acknowledge the telex like got it or you know or if it was a thing they had to like really respond back or whatever and then um, for confidentiality purposes about 10 to feet to it, my left right and if it was just kind of like you know a nuisance thing like you know like a whatever like gotcha like sure bug kind of things, you would, you would acknowledge it with two bots here, and then you would try I'm glad y'all can hear it, because it is just... And you would do like, a thing like this, like, bop, 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 and you would hit your keys like this, because you could act and shred it on your keyboard like that, just bop, bop, bop. And um, so, like, if people were saying something in Scientology that was just so unbelievably lame, just like... Like you hated it, we would just look at each other and be like, like just if that just secretly meant to each other, act and shred. Like, oh my god, like whatever. Like you just, like this is just stupid. Just act and shred. So <clears throat> that could mean like you know. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait. I guess they really want to hear me now. I guess they really, really, really want to just hear me in this megaphone instead of me just playing stuff on YouTube. Because you know what? No one seems to care about the actual law here. There is someone here that is supposedly to be here protecting both sides. Does anyone believe that considering the music is blasting out of this building? It's blasting out of this building. I wasn't even close. But you know what? Now we know that our friends at APD are really big fans of protecting this cult and not protecting my First Amendment right. He has the ability to tell them that this music is too loud. And he chooses to tell me that I have a fucking potty mouth. Can you imagine that? How embarrassing is this? How embarrassing for you? Is this what you do on your free time? You protect a cult? You protect a child trafficking cult? You protect an elder abusing, tax evading, child trafficking cult? Is this what you're proud of? Is this what you're proud of? I guess it is what he's proud of because he didn't have anything to say. He's just like the rest of them. He's just in the pocket of Scientology, just like the rest of them. Shame! 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 Y'all got the, the facial identification on there so we can show his family and his friends what he's all about when he's on duty. Did y'all run his face through that? Because I guess everyone's for fucking sale now. 
And now so I can swear, I just can't swear at people. I can do what the fuck I want. Know the law, because I know it better than you do. Which is also embarrassing. Sorry. TV, where every day is one step closer to the total collapse of Scientology. Buckle up, guys. This one's going to get a little spicy. Muy caliente. Uh, Thank you so the, much, William. Uh, inspiration. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. that. This article. Uh, that, all uh, these people have been mocking up their own fucking reactive mind. That's really embarrassing when I know the law better than the people that are Corbin here to enforce it. Bringer. This one's submitted to the Daily Texan, if I recall correctly, serving the University of Texas. Yes, thank you, Will. I appreciate you. Since so, Corbin Springer, he and his brother are both alumni of UC, which is unusual for uh, Scientologists. It's unusual for children of Scientologists to go to college. And uh, real quick, I'll show you. This is Corbin. He's mocking up the law. That. Is what he's doing. They're mocking and up their own reactive mind. He's mocking Corbin's up his own reactive law. Barton. And that, that brings us back to this article, where Corbin Springer wrote a letter. As a so thank you, William. Thank you, Rachel's Orchid. Uh, Thank you, Yana. Thank you, Motherhood to Menopause. Thank you, Dragon's Tears. Thank you, Louise. Thank you, Anna. Thank you, Diet Coke. Thank you, Jane. Thank you, Anne. And you share the same principles. Now, I will at some point in this video share with you part of his letters here. You know what? It's probably appropriate. They can get me for disorderly conduct if he really wants to be a real says. cock about because, it. But what we're actually going to discuss in this video, and I just realized I neglected. I don't know, but who threatens a Jew whose whole family is full of Jew attorneys about all, some bullshit misdemeanor? What we're really here Tell me more about the lawsuit that everyone wants brought on them. Facts are not defamation. Credit card fraud and loan fraud and other crimes that Corbin Springer's family has been involved in. Well-behaved women rarely make history. The Church of Scientology of Austin itself and the fundraising. Thank you so much, Diane. that was raised to fund the very building that was being protested. Because multiple inside sources in Austin, Texas have shared with me that approximately 80% of the nearly $25 million that was raised to renovate this building was raised illegally it's, through credit card fraud, it's a, bank it's fraud, a nuanced and issue. Fraud. Yes, you can, banking, but small banks, if somebody is claiming that it's disturbing the peace, it's, it's kind of a cluster. And Corbin Springer. Hell yeah, well behaved women rarely make history. Jonathan Not going to catch me behaving. Davich. Jonathan Davich is the key player, one of the key players in the fraud. Corbin Springer was just one of the suckers. But as is usual in Scientology, when you're talking about crimes committed Austin. in the churches of Scientology, with the Scientology organization, it's never one type of crime. So when we're talking about the Springer family, we're not only talking about loan fraud, bank fraud, we're also talking about statutory rape. 
and I'm gonna I'm gonna share the whole story with you. But again, the whole story is inspired. Statutory by rape. No one gives a shit about letters. it, but me standing yeah. out here and saying shit. So that's, that's a problem. Can you imagine? Can you imagine? I am a university of Texas. It's like people forgot what the First college. Amendment's all about. So enrolling in UT during my time there since graduating, I've been a member of my church and a member of the West Campus community. The First Amendment's a hell of a thing. As you probably heard, my church just had the grand opening of our newly renovated building that we've occupied for decades on the drag. For some ecologists all over, this was a massive celebration. What you may have also heard about is a handful of hateful protesters around our church. This is simply religious intolerance. While minoring in religious studies, I have uh, I got to have discussions about the realities of religious discrimination with Muslim Jewish. I am the whole ass problem. To name a few. Uh, this is nothing new. Um, I'm sorry, I, I skipped the sentence. There's a part of the sentence I didn't want to read out loud because I don't know how you can treat it, but I'll let you do it. Um, unfortunately, in my lifetime, I have seen increased religious hate, especially against Jewish and Muslim people. A, a Jew, uh, me out here being a Jew, not doing that. I know that students of the university in the main do not support this type of intolerance. When I was a student in 2016, I stood in front of the UT Tower with hundreds of fellow students protesting. This is Aaron Smith Levin. Brand of I am writing today to tell you that Scientology Hell yeah, who's, what I who's your best? The students of the University of Texas you tell him that I appreciate his service. Tolerance. For my conversations with members of my church, you teach students, professors, and members of other religious organizations. Well, yeah, because the cult has a way bigger budget to pay off, I mean, safe point people than me. Because I don't have a budget to save point people. My church, much like the University of Texas, is a diverse group of people from a variety of backgrounds. We are Scientologists because it has helped us. If you want to know what Scientology is all about, you're always free to come inside and see. If you do not want to, that's totally fine too. I know that I speak for all Austin Scientologists when I say that we are very happy to be part of this community and we will do everything we can to make it a happy place to live. Scientology Org is our website for anyone to see for themselves. All right. Well, that is. Perfect. Thank you so much, Anne. Appreciate you. So let's get this story started. As I said, this is Corbin Springer. And this, on the right, is Corbin oh my gosh. Springer's poem. Beth, that's awful. That. Now, thank so you sorry. so much for Jim Sass. And Jim Sass is a very wealthy Scientologist in the Austin area. And I believe uh, has a couple of close to three million dollars to the Austin building. Now, Jim is not Corbin's dad. Stacy is Corbin's mom. Before Stacy was married to Jim, Stacy Thank you, was Kimberly. married to Tracy. Tracy is a man. That is what Tracy used to look like. Stacy and Tracy were married for a long time, and they had a number of kids. Everything was going along fine until Tracy it's true. cheated They've on got like 120 here. with Stacy's younger sister, mm -hmm. Sheila. Oh, Sheila. As if that wasn't bad enough, the problem is that Tracy was in his late 20s, early 30s. No, oh, yeah, Sheila he's real was a minor. By the way, this is a current photo. But, they, you know, so he does have somebody to help him, you know, Sheila with the was door. 14 years old. My inside sources tell me it's possible she was 15, but they believe she was 14 years old. Now, what did Scientology oh, do she when she found out that I'm gonna love you till the morning comes. had cheated on his wife with an underage child, his wife's sister. But I'm the criminal, right? Just checking. From Scientology. No. Sheila, the 14 year old. Happened to also be at the time a staff member of the Church of Scientology of Austin. So all they did was send her to Clearwater, Florida for. Thank training. you, Sandra. I appreciate you. Yes. Instead of involving the authorities in a crime that had occurred against the Scientologist's child, they transported that unaccompanied minor across state lines to Florida. I think that's called child trafficking. And she stayed in Florida and did her training, where she conveniently finished her training at the age of 17, which is the age of consent in Texas, and was sent back I know, to and here I was, like, feeling all guilty, because sometimes I bought, like, an ounce. Tracy. And then they had several kids. Of home. cannabis with mine. Very convenient that once they're married, you know, they can't prosecute a crime thing. Okay, 
So, where does that bring us in this story? Yes, let's go back to Corbin. Okay. Now, during this time, right back. Corbin and his brother, Barton, but Barton's not really a part of the story, to the best of my knowledge. Corbin was, as he said in his article. I'm the same. I love going, going to old churches to in Europe. Yeah, 14. Texas. Okay, so now let's enter into the story. A gentleman that I knew from my time in the Sea Org named Jonathan Davitt. Jonathan Davitt was a Sea Org member working on L. Ron Hubbard Way, where yeah, I was. Exactly. When I was Good golly, Miss Molly. We were close, him. but we knew Thank you, other. William. I appreciate and, uh, you. Jonathan Davitt, this is his LinkedIn profile. Yeah, let them all soak it in, right? Let them all soak it in. Let's see what he says he did uh, after leaving the Sea Org and relocating to Austin. He was the senior oh, she still doesn't want to come out because I'm still out here. Oh, she's still afraid to go out the door. Still so afraid. Oh, she's got to run back to the back, you guys. Which included fundraising, managing sales teams, setting and meeting quotas, and social media marketing. The project was completed with fantastic results. That is so good for yeah, right? you, Jonathan Davis. Yeah, y'all are the best. I appreciate your support. I do not recall why Jonathan and Dad left the Sea Org, whether he routed out or whether he was kicked out. Probably kicked out. I do not recall why he ended up in Austin. What I do know is that he ended up being the head major fundraiser (laughs) for the Austin (laughs) Org. Appreciate you. Nearly 100% of the almost $8 million that You're the best was raised illegally. Credit card fraud, bank fraud, fraud. And one of the people who got suckered in See, it's to true. that fraud Y'all are the best. was Corbin Springer. The same Corbin Springer who is right Corbin the Canyon, Canyon, Canyon. About how the protesters outside of the That's all I think of every time I hear your stupid name. And Scientology shares all the same values as the UT alumni. Well, since yeah, Morgan we are going to make our own e-meter. In a paper that I think the paper's distribution is the students of UT. The students of UT might like to know. Good, which I do. Uh, all in my bio. Thank you so much for supporting. To Corbin for his classes at UT. No, they have not fixed it. Oh my goodness, flying mom. Thank you so very much. He gave the money to Jonathan. No, he's Gavin. there. The he's there, you just can't see. He's on the phone. He's still calling his mom. <laughs> this one really they makes him mad. A worse person to write a letter to the editor because now I'm doing this video. Okay. Here comes Angry so Lady again. Here comes happened. Angry Lady. Something came up. These financial irregularities, all this illegal activity, it's like this pendulum swing that occurs in Scientology where the executives will turn a blind eye, they know it's happening, but they're pretending it's not happening. And then She's once something to happens, they make it too obvious and they can't pretend that they don't know. Then Hold they on. like come down with a hammer and, and nuke everyone. No, Cor- and, Corbin uh, is not the reception stuff. guy. He's He wears like so a stupid Corbin, gold something, vest. Something happened. Someone He's the one that had the car tech with the Subaru. Okay. And Jim, so Stacy Dabbs, no longer Stacy Springer. I think they're maybe named like Peterson, oh, Patterson. I think Sheila, I think Sheila and Stacy's maiden names are Patterson, but we're talking about Corbin's mom. Yes, poor Corbin's mom and her rich husband. Once they found out that their son Corbin, I don't was know what this guy's name is. Illegally used his student loans. They stepped in and paid off all the student loans to minimize any legal liability. Well, that's fine. That's, that's, that's good. But one of the things about doing that is it doesn't erase the crime that was committed. I am mark my words. That's that a great question. When More than I can afford. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. It's going to be because of the hundreds of millions of dollars of credit card fraud, bank <laughs> fraud, it. and loan fraud. In a unique really and are wonderful way. Hundreds of millions of dollars of bank fraud, credit card fraud, loan fraud, wire fraud that Scientology has committed over the last 20 years. I just want angry, the angry lady to come out that was like, you're so loud. 
pressure instead of existing. Maybe she's got to get Kathy Norman's husband's earmuffs. Every word. He's going to have to get sick checked for sure. Are 10, 20, 30 times more than Scientologists can afford. There aren't enough Scientologists in the world to pay these buildings. There aren't enough Scientologists in the world to staff these buildings. And yet David Miscavige puts unthinkable pressure <laughs> on the fundraisers um, and the staff members. Well, the one lady just sticks her staff fingers staff in her ears as if that's going to work. So tell me you don't know how Mary sound Ella works. And At least, Lisa, like, cup your Lisa, ears, you know? Lisa, uh, who are the Sea Org members who are ideal org fundraisers for the entire United States. Jonathan David, as a former Sea Org member, being a former Sea Org member in Scientology is like, you're like lowest on the caste system. Like you are, Scientology says former Sea Org members are degraded. I appreciate appreciate you just being here. Obviously, I do appreciate the support, but like just liking and making sure you're subscribed, chatting in the chat. That is so helpful to me. Also, being really nice to my mods, also super helpful to me. Because my mods are the shit. Because my mods are the shit. So now I'm not saying Jonathan Davin's not responsible for what he did, but I'm saying these guys rode Jonathan Davin hard. It is and my pleasure, away my Tony. It is my pleasure. That's always a funny expression to say. I think I know. Um, <laughs> okay, so Mary Ella and Marlisa and Jonathan Davin and other fun the If you go in, just don't give them your real name. If you go in, just don't give them your real name or email because they'll never leave you alone. But if you want to just troll them, do it. Just, just don't give them any of your real info. Appreciate you, Kimberly. Every Scientist in Austin has participated. I can't stand this music. in the world where Scientology is fundraising for these giant buildings they usually sit for decades empty, and then eventually David Miscavige, eventually a, a, a building will be finished and he'll come and pull a ribbon and they'll act like Scientology. And every one of these things is a type of fraud is true. Now, one of the reasons uh, it's okay to do videos about this is someone might go, oh my God, don't, don't, uh, don't, don't, uh, aren't you giving it away? They're going to go burn all the documents. They're going to shut all the documents. These financial crimes, this is the stuff the government specializes in. Yeah, financial so crimes, as opposed to me committing one. No crimes. The federal government has all of the reach and the subpoena power and the access necessary to get all the records and all the documents. This is what you are, are you? Happen. I love your face. This is what is going to take Scientology down. So, to all of you students at UT Austin, that's the way, that's, that's the way I work for. So, there's different UT campuses. I don't understand the college world very well, guys, because I didn't go to college. I'm not going to lie, this part kind of hurts my soul a little so bit UT about Aaron and the colleges. West Campus, Definitely not called. West Campus. Um, <laughs> when you read this letter to the editor from Corbin That's Spring, right, World Freedom. Know, you're getting a letter from someone who took Make a his wish. student loans and gave it to Scientology. Is that really the right time? time? Oh, not me. <laughs> I, you scared me. I'm like, I'm in Central Time. I was like, what? Skrillex is an F sign, Joe? You got messed up, Corbin. You should have kept your mouth shut. No. Because now we're talking about you. Not Skrillex. Uh, all right, that really is all I have to say about this. I think I have one more video I want to do tonight, but I'm starting to feel pretty crappy. I thought I was getting better, and then the last couple hours, I started to feel a lot more crappy. I don't, I'm sounding better, right? I don't sound as sick as I sounded the last few days, um, but it's getting a little rough, so. We'll see if I have enough in me to do one more video. Um, anyway, thank you guys for hanging out with me. But Balake, where is Balake at? My name is Blake. You want to go to Royal Balake? I'm the way up. Hey, hey, Ron. Hey, hey, Ron is back, everyone. Thank you for joining me for a little more SPTV. Where every day is a great day not to be in a cult. And every day is one step closer to the total collapse of Scientology. In we your face! Detail about uh, well, one of Scientology's major annual I know. Even when I, like, tell them off, they're probably mad. Uh, uh, real. Turbo, a real one. I know, Beck was a real struggle for me, but I, I just had to get over it. And then he left, so it's fine. 
March 13th. Um, not this year. Uh-uh, uh-uh. No, sir, not this year. Now, I'm I see you, Mountain Time. All Scientology organizations on the Saturday following March 13th. The actual live events where David Miscavige presides um, over uh, the proceedings. It's almost always at Ruth Eckerd Hall in Clearwater or the, the Shrine Auditorium in L.A. No, no. I think... Not those in my Shrine homies. Auditorium are. Where they normally do the no, he's still here. Ruth Eckerd Hall in Clearwater is where he's they always here. do the March 13th event. So the problem is... He's still here. See? This year, there he is. David Miscavige didn't have anything leaving. to put into the event. <laughs> He's just not Everything as nice to me now since I called him out. Uh, in, the Jan- in the New Year's Eve event. He doesn't really like no, me anymore. Bring, bring in in Everything he promised was going to happen, none of it had happened. Everything he had promised was going to happen in the first quarter, none of it had happened. So he couldn't hold the event. So he had to postpone the recording of the live event until he, at the last minute, in a moment of desperation, was able to finally pull off some of the things he promised. Was oh, going they're to all in the back talking about me trying to call the cops. Tanya's talking to the Sea Org. Tanya's calling. Tanya's talking to her little Sea Org. Freelance Adventures girlfriend. The one most Scientologists in the world are actually going to watch at their local Scientology organization is not happening until March 30th. This is unprecedented. I'm going to play for you um, a voicemail that was shared with me this morning. I bleeped out the name of the person. Can you guys let me know in the live chat as soon as I hit play on this uh, that you can hear it? Okay, here we go. Uh, this is Kevin Reagan calling from uh, Portland Foundation. If we met, I don't remember, but I don't think we have. Um, I'm calling because uh, we now know when our uh, presentation of the LMH birthday event is coming up. It's going to be on the 30th of March, the Saturday. It's going to start at 5.30, kind of early-ish. It's probably a bit of a longer event. Um, there's also 4.30. And we, of course, haven't seen the event because it hasn't even happened yet. Um, She's your obsession. She's your However, obsession. Do you know Who do you want her to be to make uh, you sleep with me? It's got to be with V because I, I don't want to sleep with Jackie. North America. I think both of those are bound to figure in the event as well as, of course, the standing to the actual birthday game itself. After that, we just don't, we just don't know yet. Uh, hopefully that's enough for you to confirm. Um, you can call or text me. Or just talk to any staff member and we'll get you on the board. Okay, thanks a lot. Bye. <laughs> I'm seeing someone in the live chat being like, oops, you didn't edit the name. I didn't mean to, I never intended to edit the name of the staff member who was making the call. I edited the name of the person who was receiving the phone call. There's no reason to edit the names of staff members who are making phone calls. That doesn't matter. Um, uh, the staff member's not going to get in trouble for having left a voicemail for someone they were supposed to leave a voicemail for. Here's the, here's the funny thing. The staff members who make these phone calls for uh, invitations to these events, they're just given lists and lists and lists of phone numbers and names. They have no idea who most of these people are because these lists are like 20 times longer. Uh, there's 20, 20 times more names on these lists than there are active Scientologists. The person who received this voicemail is someone who has not been involved in Scientology since 1980. <laughs> Yet one other little data point that you can use um, as proof of how small, tiny, failing, and desperate Scientology really is. If there really was millions of Scientologists in the world, guys, there's less than 30,000. If there really was millions of Scientologists, if there were thousands or tens of thousands of Scientologists around any given Scientology organization, they would not be calling people who have not returned a phone call or a letter or an email or walked in their door since 1980. Um, and I know that's not like a definitive data point, but it's just a data point. <clears throat> okay, now I'm going to share with you real quick something I posted on my community tab earlier today because I, I received about anything, a helpful exactly. email in response to this. So, uh, well, first I put up a post about the live events here in Clearwater, because actually I have not seen anything publicly about where this live event or when this live event was actually going to be happening. I actually thought there was a chance it might even be occurring in the Fort Harrison Hotel. But I did find out from an insider at Ruth Eckerd Hall. Now, I, you don't necessarily need an insider at Ruth Eckerd Hall to find this out, but I do have an insider, and it's a lot of fun. 
and I'm not sharing any of the insiders, uh, and, and none of the fun information this insider has shared with me has been shared yet, but it's a lot of fun, and once I get permission, I will be sharing it with you guys. First, I posted um, the information about the Ruth Eckert Hall event, and then I said the following. Um, okay, the Elrond Hubbard birthday celebration event will not be shown in the world around the world until March 30th. This is unheard of. The event is always held this Saturday after March 13th. Unfortunately for Little Cap and Davey Miscavige, he could not book a venue to record the live event in time. Little Cap and Davey will be holding the live event at Ruth Decker Hall in Stillwater, Florida, this Saturday, March 16th. So I wanted to note that for two reasons. One, it wasn't just that he couldn't find a venue to record in time. I think it is actually more largely due to the fact that there was could not possibly record have recorded the live event earlier. Because there wasn't anything to put into the event until David Miscavige pulled the ribbon on three different um, openings of, of newly renovated buildings for existing Scientology organizations. You'll notice in the voicemail from this the one that I'm said, saying well, now. we don't know what's in the event. We haven't seen the event because the event hasn't even happened yet. But because of the teams launching and because of the ideal orgs opening in North America, we can assume that's what's going to be in the event. Guys, the ideal org openings that he's referring to literally happened last weekend and the week before that. Those are some of the most major events that he promised were going to occur in the first quarter. <laughs> he actually said they were going to occur by the end of January. And um, so anyway, he couldn't record the event until that, until that happened. He also talked about the teams launching. Those are the oh, new executive command teams for all Scientology organizations around the world that have been in training in Clearwater, Florida yeah. for about the last four there. years. Massive Scientology, that one, right here. Back to their orgs. Now that those teams are back in their orgs, you are going to see Scientology's side loss recruitment increasing big time. For the last three to four years, you really haven't seen a lot of Scientologists out on the sidewalks selling books, handing out flyers, uh, film invitations, personality tests. That was largely because of COVID, and Scientology locked everything down for COVID for the last four years. It was also because there really haven't been any staff members in the organizations to deliver to anyone. All of the executive training teams have been gone in Florida for the last many years. Now that they're back, that activity is going to ramp up. And now that that activity is ramping up, there's going to be a heck of a lot of opportunity and work for a live stream of protesters to do. Oh, I'm so sorry for you. I'm so sorry. Oh, big surprise. A Scientologist complaining. Turn down your own music. Don't even start with me. Yeah, because she's a Scientologist. Yes, she is. Yes, she is. I stand out here every day. I know who they all are. Yes, she is. That there are not one. But two, Tell them to turn down the music. Also, it's the law. First I'm not breaking it. Elrond Hubbard birthday event this year. It's true. And the winners will be announced at this year's Elrond Hubbard birthday event on, drumroll please, wait for it, the 23rd of March. <laughs> Can I confirm you to attend? Okay, so this is fascinating. They're not even holding the uh, L. Ron Hubbard birthday celebration event on the same day in all organizations. The live event is on March 16th. Uh, L. Ron Hubbard Way is... Tell them to turn down the music, and then I can turn down mine! Portland organization, and presumably... You ...are showing their replaying of the event on March 30th. And maybe you guys are wondering, what does the L. Ron birthday game this is an oh yeah, she's gesticulating all over the place. Each other to see which organization can have the most expansion from March 13th to March 13th. Can y'all see Tanya and in there? Org has the most expansion in terms of uh, percentage of rising statistics, not in not in terms of um, absolute numbers. Uh, gets awarded first place, second place, third place. Yeah, seven. she's a Scientologist the and they're here complaining. Is that? All of Scientology is supposed to find out who won the birthday game at the same time. And yet people in Clearwater... Well, then go away! Won the birthday game this birthday. is my First Amendment people right! Los Angeles are going to find out who What's won the birthday game. What's the law on the decibels, then? You people tell me! What, what do you think it is? Mind your fucking business is what level it is. Huh? <laughs> 
Exactly. Just walk away. Just put your GRs in. I don't care. I don't care. Not about this child trafficking cult existing. What do you care about? The elder abuse, child trafficking, child abuse. That's what they're doing. Okay, well, then complain to them. Tell them to shut their music down so I don't have to listen to mine so loud. Well, it's not working, so then don't yell at me. Well, that's really great. I'm not trafficking children, though. Are you good, too? Yes. Yes. Sure, yeah. Of course. Some people that I know invited me to Scientology, but I'm not into there. And I uh, I don't know much things about that. What you can tell about that? So it's, um, they start you off with um, doing some self help stuff. So it kind of seems normal, but they charge you for everything. And they're going to then start gathering personal information on you. Gathering? Personal information. They're going to have you confess to things that you may or may not have ever done. They're going to tell you that there are things wrong with you that only they can fix. And then, uh, then, then they'll end up, they, yeah, absolutely. And they traffic children. They, yes, they steal people. They lock up children's passports and make them do gross things with adults either doing a confessional with them or, you know, something like that. So they lock up children, they traffic children, they traffic adults, they abuse elderly people, they take all their money. So this is just a big scam. No taxes, correct. They pretend that they're a church. But once you get to OT level eight here, L. Ron Hubbard, L. Ron Hubbard said that uh, this is not a religion, it's a technology and uh, that he's the antichrist himself so this is just a scam they're here to get your money it's like what the epsteins did but i came and one guy invited me to the his, like classroom and he was trying to be sell the, sell the book and put stop 30 minutes i said to him oh i don't i don't know i need to think about that uh, i don't i need to make sure and he's like I will help you. You can trust me. Like, trust me, please. Like, in 30 minutes, uh, during this 30 minutes, I cannot like to leave the classroom because of course. He, he wanted to be like by this Exactly. Exactly. That's what they do, and that's Are all part of their ministry. The yes, I am. Good. Fuck them because they steal from people and they break up families. Yes, they do. And don't let that old lady come out here and tell you to move. Oh, I'm not going to. Okay. No, they're familiar. They hate me, Are and I love streaming? them. Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. It's a, oh, okay. Yeah, oh. It's, it's aimed on there. Oh, yeah, yeah. These people, they steal and they break up families. That's right, they family steal disconnection. They a lot of people and they emotionally manipulate people. This is not God. This isn't even self improvement. This isn't even therapy. Okay? Welcome. Absolutely. My chat's loving it. Okay. You're getting all the claps. Oh, okay. <laughs> What's that? Uh, this is on YouTube. They know. We know, we know what they're about. Absolutely. We know that they're thieves. Yeah, good luck. Don't let don't give them any of your personal information. Don't give them your okay. email. They'll they'll contact not, you forever. Do not take the uh, what is that test they give you? The personality test. Don't take that. Don't take the what is the other test where they uh hook that thing up for you? Oh, they do a stress test. Either, don't do the stress test. Don't do it. Don't give them your email. Don't give them your address. Nothing. Do not come here. If you're looking for God, if you're looking for help, if you're looking for spiritual restoration, this is not the place to get it. I don't care if you go to Jesus, Buddha, this is not a real religion. This is this is a whole pyramid scheme right here. They've been doing this shit for the last 40 years and it's only getting worse. It's actually older than that. They've been doing this shit since the 20s, but in the last 40 years is when they got big. Do not give these people anything. They're thieves. Hell yeah. All they do is manipulate. They break you down. They emotionally abuse you. They tell you, they, they try to like include you into this group. But the truth is, they're just trying to find your vulnerabilities so they can manipulate you. 
take you away from your family and friends, take you away from the people you love so you fall in love with this false gospel. That's right. This isn't even... Did you guys know that L. Ron Hubbard was a science fiction writer? Do we know that? And he okay. and he died on psychiatric medicine, which he's against, in a trailer in California. Oh, we don't. We're not even going to talk about the medicine. They're going to try to tell you that if you need medicine, that you don't need it. That you can just come here and everything's going to be fixed. It doesn't work like that. Some people actually are disturbed. Some people actually are mentally ill. Don't let them play, play you like this. Get a real professional to help you. Get somebody who loves you to help you. Get your family who loves you to help you. Don't come to these people because you're lonely. Don't come to these people because you're desperate. Don't come to these people because you're somewhere to belong. These, this is a cult. There's so much research. This is a cult. These people steal from you. They want to know everything about you so they can pretend to care about you and pretend to love you. And all they're going to do is have you sign over the deed to your house and take your money and make you buy more books and more workshops because you're never gonna be good enough for these people. If you're not fucking Tom Cruise, they don't give a fuck about you. If you're not Tom Cruise, Miscavige, what's his fucking name? David Miscavige. Miscavige, Miscavige, all he's gonna do, they don't care. They don't care. And that dude, check receipts on David Miscavige. Check receipts on that motherfucker. That motherfucker's dirty. He's a dirty, scamming thief. Check receipts on him. Y'all, if you have friends that are here, if you have family members that are here, you have to understand they're indoctrinated because they were vulnerable and they were lonely. Hell yeah. So don't let that happen to you. Do not give these people your money. You take your money and you put it toward a, a, a licensed therapist that can help you. You take your money and you put it toward your self-care, your own self-development your own self-improvement. You take that money and you do things for yourself to help yourself. You put yourself first because if you put these people first, they're gonna take everything you have. Fuck Scientology. <laughs> fuck Scientology, fuck David Miscavige, fuck all these people here that are, that are pretending to be nice, pretending to love you, pretending to take you in, pretending to accept you. They don't care about you. You stay as far away from these people as you can. And you go and you get some professional help from people that know what they're doing based on your personality disorder or your mental health. And you get support from your family and your friends, the people that love you, the people that don't want to see you waste your money. You spend your money on yourself. You spend your money on your doctor. You spend your money on your body. You spend your money on your wardrobe. You spend your money on your friends and your family and being responsible. You don't spend your money, you don't give your money to these people. These people are gonna uh, chew you up and spit you the fuck out. Cause that's what they do. They do it to everybody. And guess what else? If you're an, okay, and if you're an actor or a musician and you wanna get into Hollywood and you think this is the way, I'm telling you it's not. It's not. They're gonna, I'm not gonna make accusations, but they're gonna mentally, emotionally, and financially rape you. So you gotta get away from them. If you wanna be in Hollywood, make you a TikTok channel, make you a YouTube channel, figure something else out. But you don't come over here. This is not gonna get you any connections. And I know that they prey on people who are entertainers. So you have to understand that. You don't need this. I don't care if it's Jesus, Buddha, Allah, whatever. Find a real religion. That's this right. is a fake religion. Y'all have a good time. I'm Jenny Redpill. Take care. Good job for Thank doing you. this. I'm Pearl Snappy. Pearl Snappy? Yep. That's a cool name. Thank like you. Beer. That's right. Yeah, okay. All right, I'll find you on the, on the tube. Oh, yeah. Thanks for stopping by. We love that. There you go. That was a woman on the street interview. She was having it. She was all about it. All right, I need another. All right, we'll do one more video and then I'm gonna head out. Let's let's see which one I'm gonna do. That was awesome. We love her. Beer queen.
I might need to put that on my, uh, I'm probably going to have to put that on my wish list. You know what I mean? I'm in the corner. Let me take myself out of the corner there. Hello. Welcome back. Um, I was not planning on doing another live today. However, I got this video. Yeah, that was awesome. Uh, it's an interactive with a Scientologist that I just had to share. Uh, because it made me well, I'm really glad that Jay came out so um, that I came out. Yeah, it's just it's an amazing interaction. I will not uh, go too deep into what happens in it because there's so many different parts to it. But she could have left out the red pill part, but we'll allow it. One of the interesting parts to it is where the Scientologist who um, they're talking to actually says I know she does. tens of thousands of Scientologists in the world, which we all know to be true, but that is not what David Miscavige is telling Scientologists. And this Scientologist is actually a long-time Scientologist. He's been in for, I think it was over 50 years. So you might not so see me in all the chats, but I'm lurking everywhere, y'all. I'm lurking. <laughs> Before we get to the video, however, I'd like to say to, hello to the people in the chat. Hello, um, and hello on the replay crew. Thank you very much for watching. Um, hope you guys are all having a good day. Uh, we got Violet, as usual. Uh, L-A-N-T-O. Auntie, hello. Awesome, awesome. Um, so the usual suspects. This is great. Uh, today's video is brought to you by uh, two channels. Uh, snitch! Look at this big snitch, this big baby who likes to have all of his fucking cop friends show up. Oh no, he's filming me. He's filming me. You know, the dust bowl meter doesn't matter if it's just my voice. Are you getting that? Don't fucking touch me. Get the fuck away from me. I was out here and you came. I did hear you. You came out here to mess with me. You came out here to mess with me. So you step back. Yeah, right. Oh, okay. Let's be real. Came out here to talk to me. Yeah, about me. And I don't have any fucking thing to say about that shit. Bullshit talk about other people all the time. They sure do, but it's nice to see whose side you're on. Sure. Yeah, we just ordered one. We have one coming Tuesday. Just so we have Pussy ass bitch. Can I help you? Can I help you? Seems like you want yeah, I want you to get the fuck away from me. I've been standing out here. You didn't need to come out here. I could give a shit. You're not helping. You've done nothing to help. They've been blasting their music. Is that really what you have to ask me is why I'm wearing sunglasses? You idiot. You're an idiot. You know, when you're bright, the sun shines all the time. Yeah. Reminds you of that song, I only wear sunglasses at night. No, it's because my fucking this. future's so bright. But you're in a cult, so you wouldn't know. Is this the most fucking vitamin D you've had all day? Probably is. They'll be in communication, snitching about me, snitching and bitching, snitching and bitching about me, making up lies, making up dead agent packets about me, making up dead agent packages, making it all up. Shame! 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 Yeah, but that's just me. There's no limit when it's just my mouth. That's only if it's a speaker. I can be as loud as I want. Well, fucking step back then. Then step back. Then step back. Then step back. Then step back. If you don't like it, then step back. Now you're being Okay, and? Please. 
Please what? You are creating yourself a problem. I will be pressing charge. Oh, awesome. You've already touched me with your stick. Uh, so did, uh, so did, what's his name? Norman? Kathy Norman's husband? He hit me too. So you really want to go back and forth? Fuck you, he did too. Three different times. Fuck you. Then which time are you talking about? What the fuck time are you talking about? Fuck you, you're wrong. You're fucking wrong. And look at all these bitches. Come on, Tanya. What do you have to say, Tanya? Yeah, get back inside. Get the fuck back inside. You get the fuck back inside too. You get inside too. Go fuck yourself. Jackie, fuck you. Fuck back inside. Get the fuck back inside, you piece of shit motherfucker. Get the fuck back inside. Yeah, listen to your friends. Get back inside. Some the fuck help you were. Okay. Block people seeing themselves. Okay, so uh, Laura Anderson, who don't, left, know don't know her, she left the church, and her father was forced to disconnect from her. Wow. How can she? He's pressing be, charges on um, me, y'all. Forced to believe what he believes in order to well, speak with him. Um, for anyone who knows my story, um, that's exactly what happened to me, and th you'll hear this guy's response, but. He just doesn't, he's not hearing Not them he's still saying. peeking. He's not um, connecting it with anything in reality. He's only seeing what he's seeing, but not the actual truth. Yours are. Well, um, I'm not sure about that situation because I don't know this people. But the there's tens of thousands of people okay. in the world. In the, wor uh, in the, in the world, there's tens of thousands? I'm sorry. Tens of thousands. There it is. Tens of thousands of Scientologists. This is from a guy who has been in uh, for 50 years, and as you'll see him admit oh, later, oh, because my tripod touched his fucking shoe. So, let's hear him say My that tripod again, touched his little really fucking important. shoe. This is big. So I've now they're big and mad. Tens of thousands of people okay. in the world. In the, wor uh, in the, in the world, world, there's tens of thousands. Just tens of thousands. Okay. Not 10 million. I have 10 million Scientologists, yeah. or are I not 10 million? There, oh, rip. there you go, guys. Like, this guy is just admitting it. There are not 10 million Scientologists. And I just love, love that Laura is grasping onto this and digging into it, because this is, this is great. Really, because David Miscavige says there's 10 million well, Scientologists. Maybe, maybe there are, then. There's 10, okay, so if there's 10 million Scientologists in the world, and there's 150 orgs around the world, do you have 666,000 members coming into this org? I'm not sure what membership number is. Well, let's look. How many people are in there today? I don't know. We don't I'm know? I'm not in there. Weren't you going in to find out? Will they let you in? They won't let you in. Well, okay. I they thought are. everyone was hey, welcome. It's okay for you guys to believe whatever you want to believe. And it's That's okay for you to believe what you want to believe Absolutely. Too. Thank you very much. And you think it would be over there. So now every time they assault me, now every time they assault me, I'm fucking calling because I've let it go. That's your right. But is he going to press charges on me for right now? I don't know. Okay, well, let's find out. Well, that's his decision. If he does, I have no knowledge of that. Because they have come after me before. And I'm the one that gets assaulted and then they call. And I'm sick of this because I'm the one that gets assaulted. No, the, it's the bitches inside. It's the cult members calling. <laughs> They'll come out and get you. May I have your May I have your card, please? I don't have a card with me, but you can get my name. Wolf. Wolf. 
Thank you very much. May I get your name, please, and your number? Thank you, I appreciate you. No, I did have it off the ground, Susan. Yours is. Well, I'm not going to stand here and have my shit fucking copyrighted so they can go fuck off. Think I'm going to stay around and get a fucking lecture from a police officer? The whole fuck, no, I'm not. We can learn lessons all over the place, can't we? I'm so pissed, I'm gonna say something real fucking stupid if I stay around there. I'm, I'm gonna do something real fucking dumb. So I'm just gonna fucking leave because fuck these people, because I'm pissed. But you know what, let them mail me everything else because they haven't done, they haven't sent anything to me so far. Fuck Scianto. Why am I gonna stand there and get arrested when he's gonna try to press charges on me right now for touching him with my tripod? You know? Let him come get me. They have my address. They have everything about me. I have Scianto. But my reckless mouth is about to get me in a lot of trouble if I stay there any longer. I have met me. I'm familiar with me. I'm familiar with my stupid mouth. And did I want to punch that little person in the face? Yes, I did. You touched my shoe. No, I didn't because you have. He did have them very nicely, like, you know, polished. Nothing happened. I didn't touch him. Did I move the tripod? Yes. Did I touch him? No. Why would I want Thetan cooties on me? You know what I mean? I want Thetan cooties. KK is probably losing her mind in the chat right now. But yeah, I'm not going to stand there and get a lecture. Or arrested. Or whatever the fuck else they're trying to do. Get somebody else to do it. Get somebody else to do it. Let's maybe not also get run over by traffic. Because that seems not productive. You think that's a thing. You think you're pissed? I'm fucking pissed. And if I stay there, I'm gonna get in trouble because I'm gonna say something real fucking reckless. Oh look, there's more cops showing up. Yeah, also no Frogger. We, we're not interested in Frogger. But I do want to look at my super chats and say thank you to everybody. Thank you, Diana. Thank you, Pepperoni Nips. Call your mother. Flying Mom. Sue Herman, thank you so much. William Peterson. Diane Barton. William Peterson again. 
Rachel's orchid. Let me lock the door because I don't like the way that kid just ran up. Yana Inman, motherhood. Dragon Tears for me. Diet Coke. Anna, Jane, and Anne. All right, I just want to make sure that I could get those. But we will, um, let's go drive past and see what they're up to. That cop, that cop was like trying to be cute and funny and all that shit, but like, bro, I told you the music was too loud and your response was to uh, close the door for them. You know what I mean? Like, how's that helpful? How's that helpful? So now they have the doors back open. They have their doors open. Cops are gone. Look at that, all the cops are gone now. Now that you can see, because the thing's on me. Oh no, they got, they came lights and sirens. They came lights and sirens. Look at them, y'all. Fucking idiots. Bye. Peace out. Lights and sirens I got. Is this person just gonna back up into my fucking car right now? Cause I can't back up. What is happening? Is this an F sign toe? Thank you, William. What are we doing here? There's so much room for this person to just back up like, and I, I, I don't. This has got to be enough sign to. I don't even know what to say about that, y'all. That was like the worst. There's no reason for all of that commotion. And also now it's starting to rain. So, I mean, I guess that was a good time for me to leave. But do you see all the cops following me down the road? Me either. That was ridiculous. That was ridiculous. And the song is stopped. I think that song is made for torture. You know what I mean? Yeah. That, that was definitely me snapping. That was definitely me snapping. Uh, and why I decided to uh, ag extract myself. Um, I guess I could turn off my body cam now. Because I did have it recording. No, you don't need to drive there. I'm I'm in the car, I'm going home. We'll see if the cops come to my house. Which I don't think they will. See, it was meant to be, because now it's actually like raining. You know what I mean? This was this was, it was all meant to be. I want that guy to press charges on me though, because I just don't think he understands how law, how lawsuits work. Please sue me for everything. Please sue me for everything. And then I'll get the, all of the, uh, you know, discovery I need. 
Of course, that works better for a, sim a civil than a criminal suit, but let him let him go ahead and charge me with assault. You know what I mean? Just let, like get get it all out, buddy. Get it all out. See, that was divine intervention. We're just going to go ahead and call that divine intervention now because it's, it did start raining right at that point. So again, we're just going to go with the divine intervention. Plus, I need to call my best friend because it's her birthday today. Right? See? All these things have come together. I'm still not being followed by any police officers, so I think I'm in the clear. They'll have to mail it to me. I've, I've, there's something about the way that those people can just get to you. There's just something about the way those people can get to you. Can't really read the chats though right now because I don't I don't text and drive and I don't try not to read while I'm driving, but of course the, the one time I'm getting all the green lights, right? I just wanted to get the F out of there. Oh, here we go. Now I have a pedestrian crossing light. No, I didn't get in trouble. Not yet. Yeah, that guy was totally baiting me, and I fell for it, too. I fell for every fucking second of it. I fell into his trap. I am not proud of it. Not proud, but did I fall into it? Yeah, I did. I did. He got me. He got me. Not perfect, but he got me. I fell right into it, too. But just understand that it was everything in me to not just, like, punch him in the big, stupid face. So, shit happens. I can't be perfect every time. I can only be perfectly me, which comes with a temper and a fuse of varying <laughs> length sometimes. But I appreciate that y'all hung out with me and supported me and got mad with me. Because that cop, man. I'm just like, isn't, don't you think that this music is too loud? And he's like, Ugh. And so then he goes to close the door and I'm like, okay, but do you see that the music is coming out of the speakers above? And like, you certainly can do something about it. Whatever. My dogs need to be fed. I appreciate that. Are you telling? I just, I don't, I don't like when I get caught up in their bullshit. Cause I know better. I know better. I'm smarter. But sometimes, yeah, and then that, like, weird little cop, and he was like, oh, I saw you earlier, and I'm thinking, like, I don't necessarily remember him. Um, I don't, I don't remember him. He said I didn't, he wasn't from the, um, the, the garage. Yes, that's, see, true. I am very smart, but I am very human. And there's just a certain point when that, like, when they all run over to go. Like, first of all, I saw him out there with his stupid decibel meter, okay? So, I'm so sorry. I lost it. And then I screamed into it. You guys couldn't see that. I, that was the first time that he accused me of touching him. And it might have been because I screamed into his decibel meter as if it was a microphone that he put in my face for an interview. So, 10 out of 10 on that. And the guy was like, was that 74? He was like, actually, that was like 100. 120 or whatever he said and he was just like oh well and, I, and that's when I was like that see no, I, that's not being amplified though I'm going to I'm going to get you for assault do it I can't wait to see the video I can't wait I can't wait to see that court date let's do it I wish I knew Kathy Norman's husband's name so I didn't have to keep calling him Mrs. Kathy Norman. But 
that person had to make a very, very sharp turn at that little flea market. But now that I see it, I'm like, are they selling bicycles out there? Can't stop. Don't have money for a new bike. Don't need a new bike. But at least I, you know, I'm not going, at least I'm not going back there, which have I thought about already turning around and going back there? Yes, I have, but I'm not going to, because I have to feed the dog. I have to call my friend for her birthday. And it might start raining again. That, that was the best choice that I could have made to walk away because my reckless mouth would have gotten me in more trouble. I'm familiar with my work. Familiar. I, oh, I am. We're, I'm going to the, the little convenience store right now to go get myself some adult beverages um, before I go to my house. I would like a brew and not like tea, but like an actual beer. The dogs always make it better. That's true. Yeah, I'm familiar with my work. Now I've met me before. I'm familiar with my work. <laughs> I, I, I just happen to know. Like I, once I get into that, like, oh, I now am triggered and I'm going to start like running my mouth. It, it, it's very difficult to turn it off. And I'm not trying to see, I'm, I, don't, I just don't want those bracelets that the police give you, you know? I don't want those. I'm not interested in those little metal bracelets. So. And there's no F scientists following me home either because they're probably too busy like snitching on me to cops. Oh well, I guess we'll just have to see him tomorrow. Or the next day. Yeah. It's the right move. Oh, I just wish that I could just punch him in the face. Just like a nice little uppercut, you know? Uh, a bike, a wholesale one. Well, what kind? Because I, I mean, I, do I always need a new bike? No, but do I? Will I always get one? Yeah. Yeah, I, I am. I sadly, well, not sadly, but I am definitely, um, I am self aware and very well aware of my strengths and weaknesses. I did get one of those beatbox things because I saw um, the kid that does uh, the skid row. He like goes around on his bike or whatever on Skid Row. I saw him get one and then it's like tried in the freezer and now it's just like frozen rock solid. So um, I've, I've actually yet to, to try it because it's frozen rock solid, but um, I'm, a, I'm a Miller Lite girl or whiskey. I did, I assaulted his poor little feelings. That is probably true. Uh, they're trying for a restraining order for Tanya for sure. They, they want a restraining order against me for Tanya. Um, the, 200, the 200 question one, I know I need to do some stuff on that too. Yeah, I had to go. I know, I won't, I, I will not try to, I don't know if I'll be there tomorrow. That's right. I do need to spend some time on the cans, the beer cans. Mm, I'm not mad about hard seltzer though either. So I never really liked uh, White Claw, but then EA brought over the peach White Claw and I really liked that one. Yeah, that's true. I need 420 as well. All right, y'all. Well, I am going to, it is a good thing, but they're baiting her and that's what they do. Yeah. 
All right. Well, thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you for all of your support. Thanks for watching me lose my shit and go from Pearl Snappy to Pearl Snapped. Um, and, uh, yeah, if they, if they really cared, they would have had me stop. So love you all. Thank you for your support. I'm going to get some adult beverages and probably get a lecture from KK as soon as I end this. And it